I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, not, not. Money pals, need a money counter. I broke my thumb from thumbing down. Wifey on my line, she told me to dumb it down. Mama on my line, asking how I'm dumber now. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, not, not. Beautiful people, welcome, 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 welcome back. Buenos dias, bon dia, uh, bonjour, ça va. Welcome to the stream, my people. Good to see you. Matter of fact, I think your boy needs a haircut. Uh, probably should shave. I think I'm gonna I'm a keep it going for the quarantine and whatnot. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, welcome to the stream, guys. Good to see you. Bailey, welcome to the stream. T-Man, welcome back. Uh, Lucas, Beethoven, welcome back. Big Mungus, Ryan. Uh, who else we got? And Tanner Costin, Mr. Sign. Uh, who's that? Magdalena, welcome back. Big Mungus, welcome back. Classic Cubing, welcome back. Captain Bombos is always good to see you, my man. Wyatt Chambers, welcome to the stream. Uh, who else we got coming through here today? Thank you guys so much for coming through and watching and hanging out with me. Thanks, thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out, guys. Uh, David Dynamite. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Good to see you guys. We are live on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh-oh. I'm getting a short in my headphones. I don't know what it is. Hopefully, my headphones are not going bad. Not in the market for some new headphones right now. Steven Tellman, welcome to the stream. It's good, man. Happy Friday, guys. Uh, man. Today, we are flying in the classic Roadside MD-80 in the even more classic Northwest uh, livery. It's a sexy livery. I think it looks amazing. I think it looks great. Speaking of that, that keeping the beard and mustache going, I don't think my wife is going to be very happy if I don't shave sometime soon. <laughs> but uh, Armand Lee, good to see you, man. Beethoven's back. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you as well, man. Hope you guys are great. We are in Minneapolis today. Kilo Mike Sierra Papa. KMSP. Uh, we're flying two legs if possible. As usual, <laughs> we're gonna do the first one if we got enough time to do the second one. Uh, we're gonna go to Chicago first, and then we're gonna go to Detroit. So two actually pretty short legs. The first leg's like what 300 miles, something like that. Not very far at all. We're on Vatsim Network, so if you like to join us, come through, come through. I think I got Act the Sky running already. Yep, that's running already in the background. Music sounds beautiful. Matter of fact, speaking of music, let me get our cruise music ready for later on, um, because uh, just in case we want some of that. But yeah, so uh, Rotate just updated their MD-80, uh, like yesterday, or the day before, soon, 
it, it, it was this week. They updated it this week, and uh, it's only uh, it's a lot of changes. Like visually, not a lot, but a lot of stuff under the hood. They made it better. This plane was already great. I already love this thing, um, and so it's good to see that they gave it some a look. I looked at the update, and they haven't updated this plane since 2018. It's been two years since they posted an update. That's crazy, and yet this thing has still stood the test of time. You can see Minneapolis downtown in the background out there. This is freeware scenery I got off of the org. So if you uh, want to get your own Minneapolis scenery, this is what we got right now. I didn't pay for this. This is this is all, this is all free right here. Don't you love freeware? I'm really hoping on the Microsoft Flight Simulator subject, I know it's gonna come up. I'm hoping that the freeware community comes through uh, on Microsoft Flight Simulator as well and not just all of the, um, for lack of better words, money hungry developers don't all just go over there and charge us $100 for everything. You know what I'm saying? Zellman, good to see you, man. Simpilot, welcome back. Good to see you, welcome to the stream. Raven, what's up, man? Good to see you. I think you only know me because I'm popping. By the way, that song is by, it's such a weird title. <laughs> NBHD Nick is the name of the guy. And the song is called Knockin'. K N O C K I N. People have been asking me a lot what's the name of that question. I mean, what's the name of that song? And uh, that's the name of the song. We'll let it play one more time in the background. Um, but I'm using Epidemic Music Sound. Uh, Epidemic, Epidemic Sounds.com to get all my music from. Uh, that's where I'm getting my playlist and things like that from. Let's get the thing started. Uh, one thing I gotta do, actually, to go to the plugins, rotate aircraft manager, and turn on the GPU. I don't know why it's not connected to the jetway. I guess it doesn't have auto gate. And we'll get the battery turned on. And then we'll get the external power. Um, by the way, I want to mention that FT Sim actually has a IAE uh, sound pack for this plane, uh, which I was going to stream last week, but I didn't get a chance to stream it. Um, I actually decided to take it off because I wanted to kind of appreciate the plane for what it is right now. And then next time we stream it, we'll bring in the sound pack and, uh, and, and elevate it. You feel me? It'd be nice. But, uh, all right, cool. So that's all, that's all GPU is turned on. Let me go through my checklist because I always forget how to start this thing. Start pump needs to come on. It's on the left side, probably underneath my camera. APU, that's gonna be this right here. I'm gonna hold that down for a few seconds. We'll be watching the APU uh, temperature rise. And then we'll get EGT pretty soon. I can let that go now. While we're waiting for the APU, we'll get the IRS aligned. We'll get these screens turned on. We'll, we'll delete that. Uh, position initiation. Kilo, Oscar, Romeo, Delta. Nice. All right, click on that. Click on that. And then we're going to. Oh, wait a second. That's not where we are. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. We are not in Chicago yet. Uh, we are in Minneapolis. Kilo, Mike, Sierra, Papa. Let's put that in there. And then, yeah, man, I don't know what would happen if I had put the wrong city. I mean, we're a few hundred miles away <laughs> from Chicago, so how off would my GPS be if that happened? That'd be crazy. Our APUs are ready. See, it's lit right here. Gonna pop that down. Beautiful. And what's next? Uh, APU bus. I think that's what that was. APU bleed, uh, which is, uh, I think it's the air on button. Let me turn the packs on. This is on the right side. Uh, the galley will be turned on. Uh, and turn some panel lights on. We'll get the emergency lights armed. That's the doors, actually. Where are the emergency lights? Here it is. This is emergency power. I think this is the emergency light. No, this is doors. Okay, never mind. I don't know where they are. Where are they? I don't remember. I really don't remember where they are. We'll get back to it if we remember later on. Uh, while we're doing that, we can get the, uh, not the beacons, but the nav lights and stuff like that turned on. Which is going to be, I think, the, not the position, position lights, not strobe, but the position lights. Oh, nice. Is that you over there, classic uh, cubing? Wait, who are all these planes? Is this part of the scenery? <laughs> yeah, that's you right there, I think, and then the Jetstar Airbus A320, looks like. I don't remember there being static planes here. I did get my VATSIM working. Last time we streamed, I had an issue where none of my planes were showing up on VATSIM. I figured out how the reason why. I guess when um, 
either when I updated to Vulkan or when I updated my X-Pilot, um, it unlinked my CSL. So I had to go back in and, and link it. So I didn't have to re-download anything, thankfully. And it was a pretty easy fix. So, all right, let's get the thing uh, finished up. See, guy lights are on, anti-ice fog. Where our window? Windshield lights and stuff like that will come on. Air supply. Uh, now it's going to go to the captain. And lower pedestal. I have a checklist on my phone that I'm using right now that remind me of the things that I always forget to do. <laughs> all right, panel light is going to come on, and I think that's good. Now we can go ahead and do our flight plan. For today speaking of that uh, let's go take a look at this cool new feature this is one of my favorite things about the update visually is they finally incorporated Avatab inside of the uh, MD-80 and it's super helpful I think any plane that incorporates this is helpful so the way to get it turned on I had to go on discord and ask somebody how to do it you gotta click on this little power button just like a real iPad um, to get it turned on except I don't know why it's on the bottom and not like on the top but who cares all right airport I'm gonna put in Okay. Minneapolis St. Paul traffic, Delta 1683, that box truck pit pushing back. That sounds like somebody's pushing back out of Minneapolis. Uh, Cole, yes, we are on multiplayer today. Captain K, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. All right, we are here. We need. We should probably get the weather. Um, actually, since we're down here, what is the ATIS? Departure ATIS 1208. There it is. Switch it over. I don't know if we're going to hear it. I think I have to go and do this first to actually hear anything. Let's see. X Pilot, enable default ATIS. There it is. Thank you, Nicholas. Appreciate it, man. Pacific Chia, welcome. It's like uh, arriving runway 30 left, 30 right, and we have Papa. They're basically, have uh, traffic is going to the north. Uh, we're close to 30 left, so we'll take 30 left. Sounds good to me. Setting our departure. Uh, let me get my light plan. It is. All right, so we're doing the Zimbro. Oh my God, this button on this, <laughs> this button on this jacket is crazy. Like I, it's weird. Like I actually got dressed up today to go nowhere. Like I actually put, a, I actually put like a, a nice jean jacket on. <laughs> yeah, X Plane Eleven has uh, add-ons to, to make it multiplayer. It's not by default multiplayer. Alright, so this is our departure. We'll take a look at that later. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and get the rest of the charts ready too. We'll search, we'll get Chicago. And we'll be expecting the Fight 5 arrival in the Chicago O'Hare today. My frames are not bad, they're 31. Uh, they might not sound great, but it's. Uh, I was getting lower earlier. I had to make some adjustments. I'm actually surprised I'm only getting 32 in Minneapolis because I don't even have ortho out here. So I was actually a surprise I'm only getting 33 right now. It'll be worse, trust me, when we get to Chicago because I have uh, Triswiki Chicago City and Chicago Chicago XP. And uh, you guys know how Triswiki sceneries are. A lot of times, the city scenery takes a lot of frames from your system, sadly. I approach, I don't know what runway we're going to take. Uh, let's just say. Oh, I don't know, man. Can I skip that part? I just like to know. All right, so we get our airport chart. Oh no, X plane crashed again. Uh, we'll take what is this right here? Two eight. We'll take two eight right or two eight. Let's do two eight center for landing. Approach two eight center. I don't even know what the PRM means. I honestly don't know what that means. Geo, what up, bro? Where you at, man? I sent you a text message. You're supposed to be up in here with us. 
You get stuck at the store. You got you got you doing chores. How come? Where's my two eight center? Here, nope. Two eight center. There it is. Yeah, classic. If you can get loaded back in, man, you still got a little bit of time. We still gotta finish our flight plan. I haven't put the flight plan inside the plane yet. And what is that noise? Oh, they're cutting grass outside. I, you know, whatever. At least I don't have to do it. I also don't know if I'm using the right call sign today, uh, guys, because I'm using the. Uh, we're flying northwest. Oh my god, that is really bad. That is loud. Like, they must be right outside my window. That is crazy. Oh well, you guys, I'm sorry for the background noise. They're cutting grass now. They decided to do it now. It's been super quiet all morning out here, and now they're cutting grass. Oh well. Again, I can't complain because I'm not cutting the grass. I personally do not enjoy cutting grass. Um, so if somebody else is doing it, I ain't gonna be mad at them. Do your thing. I appreciate your work. Uh, Alright, so, uh, what is wrong? I think, yeah, these headphones are going out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think you guys should be able to hear fine, but for me, I'm starting to hear, like, my left ear is going out. Ah, uh, that's not good. These are not cheap headphones. Not expensive either. They're not as expensive as some, but they're definitely not cheap headphones. Okay. All right, departure. Runway, what did I say? I already forgot. Dang it, man. <laughs> three zero something. I think three zero left. Yeah, that's what it was. All right, runway three zero left for departure. And our uh, departure is going to be Zimbro 6. Odie? Yep, Odie. Execute. Route page. Next. And from there, we we'll hop on the Juliet 3-0, if it'll let us. Let's see. Yep. To Bribe. So, Bra Bravo Romeo India Bravo Echo. It's so funny. Like, ever since I've been, like, doing flight sim and learning the alphabet that way, um, whenever I'm on a phone, they ask me, like, what my name is or something like that. Or they ask me to, you know my email they're like uh and you know they're like they're like oh it's a as in apple c as in cat and i'm like oh you know alpha bravo charlie delta delta at yahoo.com they're like can you say that again <laughs> i'm like oh god and they're like thank you for your service i'm like that's not that's not what that means not at all i execute departure arrival arrival um fight three I don't know what our transition is. No idea. Can I put no transition? Would I recommend the Mad Dog? Absolutely, I would recommend it. I've had this plane. This is this is one of the first planes that I ever bought payware on X Plane Ten. This was a long time ago, and I've had it since then, and it's still a relevant plane. And it's uh, it's proved that like it's it's good. Uh, transition. What options do I have? Beaner, <laughs> Beehawk, Bussy, Champion. Where are those at? There's Beehawk. There's B. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it should know already. Our transition is a fight. We've already put that in, we've already done that. I'm just gonna skip it. And we're landing to two center. Lydia or two eight center. All traffic, Delta sixteen eighty three taking off. Roughly three zero left departure to the east. Alright, next page. So legs. Uh let's see, have we done everything else? Uh did we do performance. Can we do performance? There's performance initiation. Alright, so let's take a look at our fuel. We need about seventy one hundred kilograms. Uh let's get that ready. Uh, and the f fuel all tanks 7100 yeah passengers today uh, we'll get a pushback truck but no catering today because my ground handling is not working uh, total payload I don't know I have no idea what that should be 
Oh, I could put a number of passengers. I don't know. How many can I fit? Let's say 50 50. Something like that. And then cargo, I don't know. Let's just go with like a, a max payload, like 6,500. I don't know what that is. That's actually low. Look how few passengers we have. Let's go with like 10,000. I don't want to be too heavy. Let's go 10,5. Yeah, that sounds about right. And where is, how do I load it? I can't, how do I load the, all right, GPS is off. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna turn it on. The door is open, cargo, blah, 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 blah. Load fuel, start, yes, cargo, yes, yes. Expedite, yes. Wait. That's pending, I'm confused. Did it do it already? <laughs> wow, random fact, at Chicago, here an aircraft takes off and lands every 37 seconds before the virus. <laughs> that's crazy, that's a lot of people. All right, why isn't it loading? Did it load? Or is this a, a bug? All right, what's my actual right now? Jerry, what's up, man? Good to see you. Avia, welcome to the stream. Bro, sweet. We're just going to assume that it did it and hope we have fuel to get there. All right, cost index. I don't know. 99. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Cruise out to today, I think it's 33,000 feet. That is a firm 330 for cruise. And that is all. Execute takeoff. Uh, outside air temperature right now. Is that automatic? Yes, perfect. And V speeds 119, 127, 135. Our center of gravity is 38. Ground, uh, so we can go do our trim now. I have a closer view of that. I do not. So we'll set our trim up. Center gravity needs to go 38. It's like I think it's just, it doesn't go that far. I think it goes to 35. Yep, 35. And flaps be 11. And it means our long trim would be what like zero or something like that. Between zero and one. Something like that's fine. Paul, what's up, man? Greetings from Wales. Good to see you, man. I'm really curious if we actually fueled the plane. Or do it, does a door need to be open? It probably needs to be open. That makes sense. Cargo doors, all that. We're going to open all that stuff. Even though we don't have anything rolling up to us. And we'll see if it'll work now. This is a beautiful plane. This is such a beautiful plane. Like, it's a shame that we spend so much time on the interior view because the outside is so nice looking. All right, load. There we go. All right, so if we were realistically to let this do its thing, I should have done it before the stream because it's going to take 18 minutes. So we're going to expedite the cargo process. Boom, done. And then we're going to expedite the loading. Passengers would take about six minutes. Expedite, boom, done. Like magic. Um, I, I guess the fuel did its thing. It says pending. I guess I did it. We'll find out when we get in the air. <laughs> That'll be a nice surprise. That'll be a real nice surprise. All right. All right, all right. Let's get going. Uh, let's go ahead and pre-plan our pushback. I'm not quite ready to push, but um, we'll pre-plan it. Oh, have I been here before? <laughs> I already have a, a thing. Let's delete all this because we're going to go the other way. Nose to the south. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. And let's go ahead and get the things ready to go. All right, so we already got the APU on. Uh, we don't need ground power anymore. We can shut that off. IRS is aligned. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to do? Hydraulic pumps. Where the heck is that? I haven't flown this plane since we did the uh, Italian tour. So I'm like going back through my notes again from when we flew it. Let's just kind of go down this this thing like that. All right, so APU's on, galley's on, uh, that's on, that's on. Don't need this on yet. Oh, there's emergency lights. I knew I was gonna eventually find it. 
Seatbelt signs. On. That looks good. Good, 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 good. Let's do some tests. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we don't have to hear that today. Logo light gotta come on. Y'all dampers over here. We'll turn that on. And I think that's it. I think we're good. That's what we always say before we crash. But I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, this is our landing altitude in Chicago, which I believe is like zero. Uh, landing barrow, no idea yet. We'll figure it out later. The rest of that stuff is good. All right, let's just go. Let's go with it, guys. Let's just go with it. All right, push back where you at, man. Let's go. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. And while we're waiting on that, we'll get the fuel pumps on. We don't have any fuel in the center pump right now, but that's okay. We'll still turn it on. Trim's already set. Fuel pumps are on. Air off. Is that what it says? And the pack's gonna come off. And then we need to switch to system A. And then we can start our engines. So, good. Captain Reynolds, read the instructions where it needs to be scenery fouled. Shit like, con wait, what are you talking about? Oh, something else. Yeah, man, we do need to fly in Hawaii sometimes. We have not done that, I don't think, on the channel. Don't believe we've done that. Now, the cool, funny thing is, I don't know who is a. I think that's a real person because I don't have traffic global running hey, or working right now. Ready to connect. And I have all the names turned off on Vatsim because I just prefer not to see them. Winds right now at 310 at 6 knots, 10 statue, mi sta 10 statue miles, few clouds at 25,000, temperature's 05, dew point minus 9, altimeter 3008, I think I already got that set, I do. Um, while we're on the ground, it's a good time to kind of look over my controls again and see where everything's at. So we got a land lights over here, our flight director is there, autopilot's there, altitude, what does our departure say? So connected and bypassed and Nothing really. Release parking brake. Park brake released. Starting pushback. And you may start engines. 3500. 220. Alright, cool. We'll just set it to 10,000 for now. Why is it 6? How do I get rid of the 6? Whatever. All right, start the engines up. Pumps are on. We'll start with engine number one, uh, engine number two. And uh, let's see if this works. <laughs> I don't see anything happening in the cockpit. I must have missed something. Yeah, I, did, I must have missed something. Thank you, Matthias Alpha. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Every day. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you very much for uh, for the for the donation. I really do appreciate that, bro. Really do. All right, the the packs are off. What did we forget? APU is on. Start pump is on. I forgot something. Do I like the the flight factor triple seven? It's okay. It's out of date. That's that's really all I gotta say. That it's out of date. It needs to be updated badly. Um, I do like the triple seven as a plane in general, but it needs to be updated. Yeah, we're not getting any kind of N one, N two, anything right now. So I forgot something, and I gotta figure out what it is. Uh, Colin, I'm not using the FT sounds right now. I'm pretty sure it would work with the updated rotate MD eighty, but I chose to fly at vanilla today since it updated I, I didn't know if they updated the sounds so i want to give them a chance first before we add the ft but i do have it all right let's, let's, let's uh figure out what we did wrong in the startup let's try, let's try it with the engine uh engine one just oh i got a light flashing <laughs> but that means nothing because nothing's happening 
Okay, nothing's happening. What did I do wrong? Thank you again, Matthias Alpha. Appreciate that, bro. I didn't know you sent two of them. Appreciate that a lot, man. Love it, love it, love it, man. What do we forget here, guys? What do you, what do you, oh, are the doors open? Oh my god, the doors are open! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I'm sorry. This is why we have checklists, guys, that I did not use today. Shut that door. What is freaking sparking up the, the ramp right now, dragging the stairs out the behind. I think the cargo doors are open too. Let's get, where's that stair at? Forward door, forward stair, aft door toggle. I think it's that one. Yeah, there it is. It's a cool animation. It just wasn't supposed to happen right now. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the doors are open. That could definitely be a reason why things are not working as they should. My bad. It's okay. The, the good news. This is probably why they are no longer around because of pilots like yeah, I'm fired. Like pilots like me probably put Northwest out of business because we forgot to put the doors up. What up, Delta? Oh man. All right. What about now? Can we keep? <laughs> All right. This is troubleshooting. This is what we're doing. We're troubleshooting. All right. Let's try it again. Otra vez. Trying to start engine number two. Packs are off. APU is on. Bleed air should be on. Maybe this needs to stay on. That might be what it is. Let's see. Nothing. Still nothing. Park and break. Disconnecting to stand by. Nothing. Wait. I see something moving. This thing is moving. What are you doing? Hey, that's our N2. Okay, that's what we want to see. All right, dope. <laughs> now I'm talking. Now we talk. It's very slow, but it's going. Is the fuel door still open? Probably, Jarrett. I mean, why not? Leave all the doors open. If you're going to have the freaking passenger door open, might as well leave the fuel door open, too. All right, let's go down here, and we'll add some fuel to the ignition. Boom. There it is. Fired up. Control E. <laughs> Tay, Tay Ray, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Good to see you. Mistakes so have been made. Has been Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a good flight. We haven't blown anything up yet, so I'm happy. Uh, Tanner, no, I have not flown to New Zealand on X plane. Uh, I've been wanting to, honestly. I actually been wanting to. I just don't have uh, New Zealand scenery. Like I can't go to New Zealand and, and fly default x-plane scenery like that's that's a big no like you gotta get some special nice new zealand scenery that actually looks like new zealand like it's gotta happen man it's gotta happen so it there is some out there um it's just massive and uh i don't wanna i don't know if i think i didn't have space i can't remember what it was something happened i didn't have space something like that all right so just try to start engine number one i think engine two is good it's stabilized I see N2 rising now on engine one. I'm gonna let go of that switch. Uh, would I recommend the jar design A330? Uh, it depends on who you are <laughs> um, and why you want it. Like, what do you plan on using it for? I think that's what my question is. Because um, it's, an, it's an okay plane, in my opinion. Like, it's for me, I would prefer to fly the old Boeing 777 by Flight Factor than to fly Jar Designs A330. But if you just love A330s, then yeah, go for it because it's like the only one. Um, Alright, there's 20%. And fuel on the left side. Oh, jeez. And we on the top of it all off, we've got to turn the beacon lights on so the whole ramp crew don't even know we're moving. Alright, where's that at? Anti collision? I think it's anti collision. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, tell you right now, I do not have a flight panel or a flight sim panel. What do I think about the Bonanza from Coronado? You talking about the Bonanza F33? I have it and I like it. I like it especially with the, uh, what's it called? The Reality Expansion Pack. Zaleman, yes, New York has a lot of freeware, actually. 
There is a, a thing out there called the New York Project. Oh, shoot. What did I do? No. Did I just turn the engine off? What is that? Why won't it go back down? Uh-oh. Okay, engine's not dead. All right, where is our generators? I think those are supposed to kick on automatically. Those are up here. Yeah, those are on automatically. And I'm kind of... All right, I guess I could just switch this back up. It's been a while. I'm sorry, guys. It's been a while since I've flown this plane, as you can see. Let's go do our final checks and get off the freaking ground. It's almost been an hour already. All right, FMC is good. Uh, let's see. Engine start. Uh, start pump goes off. Okay, sure. Um, I guess air will stay on. We'll turn the packs back on. Send a pedestal lever down. Do I need to do that? We'll, we'll leave it. I probably should watch the tutorial, but, you know. <laughs> you know. What do you do? All right. Taxi lights on. We're ready to go. Where are those? <laughs> Nose lights. Dim. And let's we'll see if the flaps work. We'll go down to 11. Oh, one thing we did forget. Something very important down here on the... Do I have a quick... There it is. Hydraulics. Very important Alpha. to have that on. <laughs> I don't think I had that on my checklist. And here's our auto brake set that to take off. And don't it is stop? Oh, there it is. Alright, taxi straight to 3 0 left via Bravo. Uh, Minneapolis. Why do I hear myself? Minneapolis traffic, uh, Northwest 116, taxi on runway 3 0 left via Bravo Alpha. Minneapolis. How do I hear myself? It makes me wonder if they can hear me, because I can hear myself. I shouldn't hear myself. All right, park and break off, and let's roll. I think we have traffic taxing in front of me. I'm going to take a look at that real quick. Execute. Yeah, we do. Okay. Center pressure low. I know. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Center pumps. Let's turn the APU off, which is that's the battery switch. Don't hit that one. There we go. <laughs> that would have been funny. Hey, Jay knows the way. How much did you miss? Ah, uh, you only missed us pushing back with all the doors open. That's about it. Other than that, welcome aboard. Hey, right, thanks, Owen. You can actually hear me. Great, great. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not supposed to hear myself, though, whenever I transmit to VATSIM. I don't know why it's echoing back to me. I have to figure that out later. Minneapolis traffic. Uh, Delta 3540 is lining up runway 30 left. Unable to find new ID for me. Beautiful day out here in Minneapolis, partly cloudy, very high clouds, about 25,000 feet. Uh, winds are pretty calm, I think like six knots. Well, I don't know if that's considered calm, but it's not gusty. Uh, where do you buy planes? You can go to store.xplane or something. .org, I don't know the exact link, but just search xplane store. Why does it sound like my engine's cutting off? Oh, that's the APU shutting down. That scared me. That really did scare me. I was like, oh no. Minneapolis traffic north of 1021. right. You can always tell when somebody is from the, like, fly, it, you can always tell when somebody from Europe is flying in the US whenever they say taxiing to holding point, blah, blah, blah. That's something that we don't usually mention very often unless ATC specifically directs us to say that um, I just the only time I ever hear that is when I fly in Europe because Europe they're always like oh taxi via Alpha Yankee this and then you know hold it holding point Alpha 1 blah 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 I'm like okay um, sure and you do that but then in the US they're like you know taxi is three, three zero left they just expect you to know to, to hold short of the runway I guess you have to tell people in Europe you have to remind them not to get on the runway Ooh, Detroit's gonna be snowy? That sounds like fun. Too bad I'm not running X and Viral. I am running Sam, but I don't know if that's gonna change our textures. Who knows? We got Delta lined up on the runway, and we got American right behind him. It's gonna be a nice flight today, guys. Welcome aboard. If you just joined us, we are in the Rotate MD80 Pro, just updated uh, this week, and we're about to depart from Minneapolis, headed to Chicago O'Hare as our first stop, and if we have time, we'll continue to Detroit, which I think is in Michigan. Right? Yeah, Detroit. Should be a pretty nice flight. And I should mention we are on X Plane 11 Beta 4. So they just, since last time, I think uh, two days ago we streamed, we were on Beta 3. 
and it's already updated to beta 4 uh, for the Vulcan update. So it's running pretty smoothly right now. I'm getting 40 frames on the outside. On the inside, I'm getting 42. So not too bad at all. Uh, it's probably gonna get half of that. We we'll get to Chicago when I get into all my Chicago center. Nine Nice, Jay. We're flying to your home airport. Legit. Anthony Flowers, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, bro. Good to see all you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. The pushback was the movie Airplane. <laughs> I gotcha. Oh, that's funny, bro. That's funny. Can I pre select my nav and stuff? Like, is that something I can do? Okay. I probably should, like, kind of go over how autopilot works before we start because I don't remember. Why is American floating? Because he's a UFO. What other reason is there? There's no other way to explain the reason that he's floating there. He has no landing gear. That just means he's a UFO. He's in a hover Boeing. That's the Boeing 737 MAX hover. Right, I think we're ready. We just need land lights and stuff. We'll turn them on now because I always forget. Uh, they are not up here. They're down here. Minneapolis traffic, American 1337, departing runway 30 left eastbound. Minneapolis. Strobes on, floodlights. Is that inside? Yeah, that's inside. Wing lights, we'll turn that on. Climb with the 10,000 initial. Uh, to nav mode, we'll get some speed. Nope. This is going to be interesting because I really don't remember how this autopilot works. So we're going to kind of wing it. Just don't tell the pastors that. The pilot didn't do his uh, recurring training. <laughs> All right. Runway is clear, uh, Minneapolis, Minneapolis traffic, 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 Northwest 116, line up, runway 30 left, left uh, for, uh, for east, east departure. departure. Minneapolis, Minneapolis traffic. traffic. I always forget what to say at the end. Greetings, Faring fan. I can see you. Mike and Mike, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Northwest 1021. Uh, is there any aircraft departing after uh, Northwest uh, 116 from 30 left? Negative, Negative. I don't see anyone behind me. Right, thank you, Northwest 116. <laughs> a little, little, little swaying there, a little drift. All right, he's in the air. Still Just, on Minneapolis traffic after departing. Yeah, take off uh, from here. Company, MD80, <laughs> uh, we will be taking off 30 right, uh, two minutes duration. 10 Eight knots. 100. Ooh, let's keep it straight. And it's rotating. Oh, come on, girl. Ooh, she's, she's, she feel heavy. All right, pilot flying gear is up and fly by. Oh yeah, love them Kim trails. All right, pulling the power back as we're already at 240 freaking knots. And we're just going to follow the flight director out of here, passing 2,000 for 10,000. All right, there's 200, 220, 220 knots. We're going to fly right over Minneapolis. Matter of fact, we're going to take a wide right turn over downtown Minneapolis just for some views. Again, I don't have any ortho out here, so sorry. I did not get that ready in time. We will have ortho in Chicago and in Detroit, so you guys are just spoiled. <laughs> but we're going to see downtown Minneapolis on the way out of here I'm gonna also go ahead and pull out this what up XP good to see you man welcome back bro hope you're having a good day I assume you're at work or something say hello to X plane vanilla on max building settings <laughs> if you ever wonder what X plane look like without all that special scenery. There you go. And we're losing the altitude. Man, this thing likes to go. Like, I am like 30% throttle. There's Minneapolis right there. We're gonna make a right turn right over it. Pretty nice. I think. I think. I'm assuming because I don't. I don't remember X plane having like 
Minneapolis downtown as a default. Um, so I think that that's probably a part of the freeware Minneapolis airport scenery, I'm assuming. All right, we're well past it. Um, I How do I change the screen? Here we go. Map. There we go. And range. Let me hide this thing. I can find out where we're going. There we go. All right, so we need to go right more. I'm going to keep flying by hand because it's fun. And then uh, we'll get to autopilot maybe above 10,000 feet or so. Cool with that? Cool. Hey, hey. Thank you, Captain. She is thick. <laughs> that MD80 is thick. Thank you, bro, for the donation, bro. Thank you for the continued support. You're amazing, bro. Appreciate it. There's Minneapolis downtown poking behind the engine, as well as the airport way off in the distance as we climb out of Minnesota. Doesn't seem to be too cold. Could use a bit of trim. Help me, so I have to hold the stick back so hard. There's 7,000. Gear is confirmed. Up. Hopefully it'll stay that way today. <laughs> I love this view though. Whenever I, when, whenever I was on the MD-80, a long time ago, um, I did like sitting like around this area where you could actually see, I think there was a seat. It was like maybe one or two seats right by the engine in the back. It was a whole lot louder. It was super loud back there. But I didn't care. Like, I wasn't the kind of person who was trying to sleep on a plane anyways. I like looking at the view. I like seeing the engine. I like seeing the wing. All of us AV geeks are just like that. I was born that way. Zayka FX. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. It is kind of a weird view. But I like it. When am I gonna do? When, when am I gonna do another VFR GA flight? I'm not sure. I haven't thought about it. Maybe sometime soon. Um, I think. Yeah, maybe some, sometime soon. We'll see. We'll see when we can bring another one out. Uh, sadly, I can't get on Pilot Edge because I'm on Beta, and Pilot Edge I do not believe has updated yet to work on Beta, even though they did update to work on Prepared 3D V5. Um, I don't believe they're working on uh, Vulcan yet which I'm not sure what all they would need to do on their part to work with Vulcan I mean Vatsim's already working with Vulcan um, where is this okay there we go I'm like where is this GPS taking us like we're about to go right back over the airport now right, here comes 9,905 and I'm still flying it by hand I might fly it by hand a little bit longer because I just kind of want to like this plane flies this thing just cuts through the air. It's it, first of all, it's really fast. As soon as we went wheels up, I mean, we were already at 250 knots, like below 2,000 feet. I mean, I did kind of give it a lot of power. I'm not gonna lie, but still, she got up here. She went up and went, man. There's 10,000. I'll turn the land lights off when I go hands off. Right now, we're still hands on. Oh, okay, Zega. So it does work with. 11.5 I just want to see traffic I don't usually see traffic anyways so I might th thank you for telling me that cause let me go ahead and try it now as long as I can hear traffic I'm happy with that so why am I getting that sound oh because I'm above the altitude that's why all right this uh our cruise our final cruise is 33,000 so as we're still flying it by hand I'm gonna reach over here and change this to 33 don't know how to get rid of how do I change the small numbers I, I don't know how to change it oh well and then I'm gonna do uh, see vertical speed uh, let's do like 2500 so that'll change our flight director for us so we can follow the follow the flight director on the way up and even though we're at 10,000 I still kind of want to fly out a bit more like I just want to fly the plane So I'll see you test my uh, stick and rudder skills. I guess you could say. I guess not. Not too much rudder, just stick. <laughs> All right, oh, we need power. We need some power. 
slowing down. Drewski, what's up, man? Good to see you. Pilot Sam, welcome to the stream. Flaps are up. Lights are still on right now. I can't reach over and turn them off. Actually, yeah, I can. That's right here. All right, lights are off. Thanks for the reminder, though. Uh, Drewski, man, glad to hear that. You're looking into getting American Truck Simulator. Uh, any need to know before buying? Yes, get it on sale. <laughs> uh, it depends on how bad you want it. Like, if you really want it bad right now, go ahead and get it now for full price because I do believe it's worth the full price. But um, at least get the DLC for um, or, um, on sale. As far as, like, need to know, not too much, honestly. It's not really like X-Plane where it's like a ton of like must-have downloads. Like there's a lot of free mods and stuff you can get off of the Steam Workshop. You can kind of like fish through there, see what you find, see what you like, see what catches your attention. Um, but yeah, I don't know. In my opinion, just have fun with it. If you're looking into, if you're looking more into playing online, make sure you get a Truckers and Pete account and sign up for that. Download the application and then you can drive online with other people. Uh, that's really the only thing I think. Uh, if you do have, if you do want to do a Truckers MP account and you want to actually drive legit, okay. I recommend this. So if you want to drive legitly and go through the American Truck Simulator system, like, like you know, earn trucks, uh, earn money to get jobs, stuff like that, you know, hire drivers, do all that stuff. Like making make a profile for that, but then make a separate profile, and then I would recommend going ahead and putting in the money cheat, <laughs> so that you can have whatever truck you want in garages everywhere, and then you can go play online and not be restricted to where you are. It's up to you though. That's my that's my only few tips though for American Truck Sim, and the same thing applies for Euro Truck Simulator if you're getting into that. I right, we're passing 18,000 feet. It's a good time to turn the auto autopilot on. I'm gonna do so, uh, as well as auto throttle. Yeah, autopilot's here. Auto throttle's here. Speed select. We'll do two eight zero for right now. And then altitude's already set to thirty three thousand. Uh, we are on nav mode. We're following the flight plan beautifully and climbing twenty five hundred feet per minute. And it looks good. Like autopilot's working like it should. Like I like it. Like I thought it'd be more difficult, but it's not. Uh, let's see. Strobe is already on. Anti collision stay on. Wing lights come off. Go to the overhead. Clean some stuff up up here. Uh, Seatbelt signs. We'll leave that on. Uh, we could turn the system just to off because we're not starting engines anymore. The packs are already on. We're pressurizing, I think. I hope. Let's hope we're pressurizing. And I don't have anything screaming at me, so I think we're good to go. Outside, maybe. Jennifer, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Yes, IFNG, we're talking about uh, Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator. My man Drewski is getting American Truck Simulator. So I'll give him a few tips on what to do to get started. Again, guys, right now we're flying over default, as people would say, vanilla X-Plane. Uh, there's no special ground textures or images, anything like that, on the ground for uh, this area. We won't really see any until we get out into, like, Illinois. Sadly, I don't have Minnesota. Uh, hint, hint to it, just in case uh, my man Vertical Sim is watching. Please do Minnesota. Not that I need it that much, but I know there's a lot of people out there around the Minnesota area that would like to see uh, some V States, Minnesota. Like, he has everything but Minnesota. It's pretty crazy. So, I was going to download it today, but he didn't have it. David Dynamite, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, bro. The 777 rework. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Again, I'm not like extremely like excited, but I'm looking forward to it. And a lot of people have been asking me to do uh, another Infinite Flight stream. And we haven't done any since last year, like since December. Uh, I haven't done an Infinite Flight stream in that long. It's pretty crazy. Um, but I'm thinking about returning and doing some more flights uh, once the 777 drops. We'll uh, check it out. We'll enjoy that. We'll probably not only just fly that. We'll probably fly some more of the A350. Check out some of the things that have updated since we've last uh, played Infinite Flight and all of that. Uh, you know, you can't forget where it all came from. Very nice clouds flying over now. That is a nice view. Man, I gotta say, like, this... <laughs> Every time I fly this plane, I'm reminded of how just nice it looks, man. It just looks so freaking nice. We should do a flight 
on I-90 to 94 in the Illinois from Minnesota and then land in Chicago. Is that a VFR route, Jay? Or what is that? Uh, on what sim are you flying, Jarrett, tomorrow out of Honolulu? Man, this is nice. I like this. this. <laughs> it's going to leave it there. We're just going to leave it there. It's going to put that right there. There's still the app crash glitch. That's not good. I think it's the last thing I did on Infinite Flight. when I did a long haul. And it crashed. I was so upset. Oh, I was so upset. I should do another flight with the Delta skin. Hmm. That's an option. I have it. That's possible. Uh, if you know, I'll let you guys vote on that. If you guys want me to do the second leg, hopefully we get to do there. Do it. We should be okay on time. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's bring that nose down. Let's bring that nose down. Oh. Yeah, let me know. If you want me to switch to... I'm only going to... only have one option. I'm not doing any other. Actually, maybe the American. I wouldn't mind doing American. But, uh... So, all right. So, three livery options for the next flight. We can stick to Northwest, which I'm completely cool with. That was my original plan. Or, for the second leg, we can do Delta or American. Let me know... Uh, which one you want to see uh, if you don't care just don't say anything <laughs> or just say Northwest I don't know um, but if not you know we'll just do Northwest for a second leg like I was already planning on doing there's 29,000 already we actually high enough to go ahead and hit standard on the barrel 2992 there yeah that thing got slow rip we're, we're really slow I don't know what's going on it does not want to level off it's trying it is really trying to bring that nose down for us. But we're right stuck at like... F oh, actually we're not stuck. We're just at 500. So I'm actually going to level it off for a second. Get some speed. Matter of fact, is there a flight change mode in this plane? And we could just use that. There's IAS Mach. We'll use that. Yeah. And then we'll change our speed. How do I do that? Not that button. I think it's a vertical speed button. Yeah. We'll change our speed to 240, so that way the plane will climb based on the speed and not on the vertical speed, if that makes sense to most of you people, because we almost stalled. That's why it's really important to use like flight change mode or IES uh, climb or something like that, because it keeps you from stalling. <laughs> As a real pilot, you should be paying attention anyways, but you know. Hand to fly over 94. I got gotcha. you. Oh, classic, really, man. You got you just got your Vatsim rating in uh, Dallas Love. I'm definitely gonna have to fly out there because I'm personally from Houston, so that's not too far from where I where I am. So Delta's kind of like a it's not really like a second home. I wouldn't say that. I don't go to Del Dallas that much, um, but I have driven to Dallas many many times, and I've done a lot of flights to Dallas. So, yeah, man, I'm about to come through. Jennifer, thank you for the donation through Super Chat. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. You guys are amazing. Thank you, Jennifer. Alpha Simmer, welcome back, my dude. Hey, better late than ever. We're almost to cruise. We're passing 28,000 for 33,000 in the beautiful classic Mad Dog Rotate MD80. And I got people voting for Delta. I got a one American. I mean, you guys got to show some love for the American livery. That's super sexy, shiny, bare metal. Come on, guys. <laughs> Delta, Delta. I got a second American. I got a few more Americans showing up. I think Delta's winning, though. I think we're going to have to do our second leg, Delta to Detroit. How do we navigate with VOR? It's confusing. It is, at first. Once you learn it, you learn it, and then it's still a little bit confusing. But <laughs> um, we're not gonna go through that today because we don't have to. <laughs> but um, maybe someday, I've been wanting to do a stream where I do like strictly VOR navigation. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I would probably prefer to do something like that on Pilot Edge with some, uh, in, a, in a GA flight. That'd be a lot of fun. That's what I think, so. 
I think I have a, a rotating view out here. Aviator Pascal, what's up? Welcome to the stream. American hands down. I mean, we got some love for American livery in the chat, but I think Delta won. I'm sorry. I, I vote American too because I love, I personally, like in the MD80, American is my favorite livery because it just, it's so dope, man. I love it. Like I love it so much more than the new livery. And I like the new American livery, the, the white one with the, the new logo on the tail. I actually like American's new branding on all their planes, but I love on the MD80 that old bare metal American. Yeah, man. Yeah, Jared. Absolutely sexy. Inside looks good, too. All right, how are we looking? Uh, did I... Yeah, Project Fly is tracking us. We are 30 minutes away from Chicago. Looking at the weather right now in Chicago, it's looking rainy. It might be snowing as well. Sadly, lib rain doesn't work uh, in Vulcan, so we're not going to have those beautiful windshield effects. Um, I don't even know if this plane has lib rain incorporated, but there is some icing and some... It's, yeah, weather does not look very good right now in Chicago. <laughs> Which is going to make for a funner approach for us. Oh, yes, it is snowing in Chicago. Let's take a look. I'm looking at the weather right now. Weather is 050 at 9. Uh, visibility 2. Uh, snow broken. Overcast 700. Yes, 700. And then uh, temperature is 02, dew point 0. Altimeter 3005. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this, to this landing in Chicago. Man, this is going to be crazy. This is gonna be crazy. It, this, 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 this landing is gonna make me really miss X and Viral. So X and Viral, guys, you gotta hurry up on this next update. I know that Vulcan and X Plane is still updating themselves, but I heard some some good things about the next version of X and Viral. I haven't seen the screenshots, but I've heard some good things, and I believe that I, I can't wait to see. Uh, what it's gonna look like oh shoot all right uh why are we passing 30 oh we're going 33 30 okay i'm like why are we passing 33,000? uh do i prefer a 747 or the a380 747 747 all the way i think i prefer to set like i prefer pretty much every plane over a380 i am not an a380 fan i think it is just i think it's just a little bit less ugly than the beluga by airbus so, sorry all the Airbus fans. I'm not an A380 fan at all. I like your A350. I like your A330 now. I, I The A340 is okay. I can respect the A340 and everything in under it. Um, but I'm not a fan of A380. I'm sorry. And are we over speeding? Oh, altitude. What are you doing? You're supposed to hold your altitude. Oh, I got to pull this out, don't I? Yeah. There's always a little trick. You got to pull the altitude button out for it to actually hold the altitude. So now we're a thousand feet above where we're supposed to be. So mock select, I'm gonna put that at Mach 0.7. How high can we get? We're just gonna go as fast as possible. Seven eight. That's pretty fast for this plane. Mach 0.78, and I wanna. I, I mean, I do wanna actually do the altitude that I said that I want it. So if I do vertical speed again, just going down about 500 feet per minute, not very fast. And then hopefully we'll uh, we'll just send down at that altitude that we picked originally. Man, why is it supposed to get 6 inches of snow? Like, it just kind of amazes me that it's still snowing in places. Like, out here in Texas, we're preparing for summer already. Like, we already got... We got some nice weather right now. I think it rained the other day. So it's kind of cooled off. Like, it's like in the 80s. Um, but we're already preparing for summer over here. And y'all still getting snow. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, I agree. I love this livery, Jennifer. Uh, Philly, I may... I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I just found out yesterday my wife is going to be, like, out 
uh, like tonight or tomorrow night. I can't remember what date. Sometimes this week is just gonna be gone, which means I'm gonna be here by myself playing games. <laughs> um, but the question is, what games am I gonna be playing? I might be racing to be 100% honest with you, but I might fly too. I don't. Know, I might mix it up. So I might have some time. Maybe I'm not gonna make any promises, but I may have some time to do some flying um, this weekend. But I just I, I can't commit to anything. So I don't know. Man, that scenery out the front window is just nice. Do I have a, a view for that? If I don't, we gotta make one. I don't. Why? Why? Who am I? Why am I doing? What am I doing in my life? Why do I have a view for this right here? Uh, my favorite regional aircraft. That's a good one. I like that question, trains and planes. My favorite regional aircraft. What would be considered regional? Probably CRJ? Yeah, I think the CRJ is the answer to that one. Uh, YouTube and streaming is not my full-time job. I have a full-time job and I do this in the meantime and in between time. So this is like my, not even part-time, this is more of a in the meantime and between time job. <laughs> if I'm not doing my regular job, I might do this. All right, we're passing our speed out to it again. This is so weird. How does this work? Level off. I'm just gonna set the vertical speed to zero. All right, I think we're leveling off now. And our mock speed is at 7.8. It should hold that. It does have auto throttle. And I think it is working. Yeah, Texas says cooling off the 80s. Yeah, I know, because we're used to like 80, like high 80s, low 90s on a good day. <laughs> the salesman do a short regional and racing. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'd probably do that. Most of my flights are regional anyways. E-145. I like the E-145. I would say it's my favorite. Like, I like it. The E-145, I like it in, in the sim more than I like it in real life. I really don't like the E-145 in real life, but I like it a lot in the sim. <laughs> in, the, in Australia, the summer is, spending, is spent hiding inside beside an air conditioner. That's right. It's the same way in Texas. When it, summer hits, like, full... Like, all, man, I am not outside. It is not fun to be outside in the summer. In well, that's a lie, because I like going to, like, the pool. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it gets hot. It gets really freaking hot. Uh, I am Jared. How do you load check checklist into X-Plane? I don't know, actually. I've never tried. The only checklist that I've used in X-Plane are, pl are checklists that were built into the plane. In X Plane, there is a uh, an add on. I think it's a Lewis script and there's a few add ons. Look on the forums, there's a bunch of add ons to, to add checklist into your sim. Um, so I will look into that. I'm sure somebody in the chat might actually know um, how to do that. So maybe somebody else could answer that question for you. And yeah, let's get some tunes going. We're not too far out. Uh, we're only, what does it say? We're only 20 minutes from Chicago now. But I do want to get some uh, some good vibes playing in the background. Let me get my... I meant to open this earlier, but I didn't. While we're doing that, we'll go to the outside. Man, this looks good. I'm using a cloud art for my clouds, by the way, guys. People have been asking me about that, too. It's a free cloud replacement for X-Plane. And I'm using it with uh active sky so i'm not using active sky's clouds but i'm using active sky as like for the weather information um to like basically tell the weather where to go and then i have cloud art replacing my clouds so you can get that for free on the forum just search cloud art CJ, you should stream it, man. Go for it. 
<laughs> Boy in Blue has throwbacks from our water landing in, in Italy. Oh man, that was. I will never forget that. I will never forget that. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, definitely go back and check out that video. We did our um, Italian tour. We finished it off landing on an island off the coast of Italy. I can't remember the name of it. We were flying in the Alitalia livery for the MD80 back then. And uh, we didn't do so great of a job landing. And we went a bit long on the landing and went beyond the runway. And right after the runway is the water. So we went right into the ocean and landed in the water. And uh, we all, no, nobody died. There were no casualties. So everything was good. Nobody, it was good. It was fun. It was a good experience, a learning experience. It was good. It was crazy. <laughs> Avatab does work too, Captain Bombos for the checklist. You get you can put them in Avatab, you're right. You like this song, Jay? Yeah man, me too. What song is this? Let me see. I need to I'm probably gonna try to contact this company and see if there's a way to have like a streamer tool where I can actually show in stream what song is now playing. Kind of like a lot of the Twitch stuff. There might be an option for it somewhere. I just haven't looked hard enough for it. Uh, so like for you guys, I like to support these artists and let you and allow you guys to know who the heck we're listening to. You know what I'm saying? And like I keep listening to like their website, and as I find more songs, I add them to the playlist. So it's kind of like is this a, a mix of a lot of random songs that I kind of was digging at some point. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you, Zelman. That's the exact same thing that happened to me. I originally I wanted to switch to, to Vulcan and try it. Uh, let's see, speaking of Vulcan frames right now, 31, not great. I think it's loading in Chicago, so a little bit lower frames right now. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the plugins haven't updated, so expect if you do uh, try out Vulcan, a lot of your plugins will not work. Um, but it kind of means like, is it, you know, make or break for you? Uh, for me, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it and we'll see. So the biggest one for me was better pushback. It was, it, as long as that's working and the main planes I fly are working, like this one's working now. Zebo is working. Um, I still haven't tested really any other planes, um, but as long as the ones that I need work, work, we get to go. The TBM works really good too. Robin, what's up? Check it in. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. What do I think of the 777's first flight? The 777X first flight. Um, I didn't get to see much of it. I thought it was interesting how long they waited to do the first flight. Um, but it makes complete sense. I understand, like, not only safety, but they want to make sure they get the most accurate data, too. Um, I was actually sitting around waiting for the first flight to take off, but it was raining, and I was like, dang, man. And so they, they finally did their flight, and I wasn't able to watch it live. How's our speed right now? Here we go. Um, but I think it's cool. I'm excited about the trip, the new trip seven coming out. Um, I don't know, like, a whole lot about it. I knew, but I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm, I'm excited for it. You know, I just love planes, I guess. So whenever a new plane or a new version of a plane comes out, it's just it's exciting for all of us, I think. SSG planes work. Good to know. I do have the SSG 747, so that's something we can try on um, Vulcan. I think that's the only plane by SSG I have. I'm not like wowed by SSG and their work, or by or of their their uh, customer su support. So I haven't really bought many other planes. The SSG is the only one I have by them. I'm sorry, the 747 is the only one that I have by them. This is not the default MD. That is correct. There's a new sky and clouds enhancement called X Feature Graphic Enhancer V2 by iFly Design. That is a great enhancement too. Let's take a look at that alpha. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And I'm gonna give you another shout out today too as well, man, because your video helped me a lot, guys. Shout out to Alpha Simmer. 
Um, if you look at my YouTube community page, I, I posted his video on there. It has a great video kind of giving you some tips on how to improve your X-Plane frame rate. Um, and it's specific to X-Plane as well, which is great because a lot of this stuff is like not specific to X-Plane. But for him, he did a specific one to X-Plane and it boosted my frames. Um, I was kind of like, I was like, this is probably not gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. But it worked for me. It actually did, so I'm, I'm glad. So thank you, man, for helping the community out with that. And now we're starting to see some ortho down below us as we start to approach into Illinois, getting closer to Chicago. We're still about 15-ish minutes away. This is our first leg in Chicago from Minneapolis. AJ Coogler, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, dude. Yeah, I prefer X-Crafts. Um, I don't have... Only, I only have the X-Crafts ERJ family. I don't have their... their um, they're bigger inverse. I think it was the Invo 75, something like that. Uh, Zelman, I actually don't have a huge stream delay. I'm just behind on the chat. <laughs> that is all. I'm trying to get every comment. So, like, the comments keep coming, and I keep slowly going through them. So, this, the delay is really not that long, honestly. I'm just behind. I'm trying to catch up. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now I'm caught up. <laughs> oh, see, yeah. Oh, okay, Zellman. So now I just got that message. So now you, I don't know how long that took, but I just got it. All right, let's go take a look at our arrival, guys, because we are getting pretty close. Our top of the sense coming up pretty soon, but it might not be accurate. So let's go ahead and see. All right, uh, so this, this is where we are on the uh, Fight Five arrival into Chicago, and for whatever reason, it is skipping all of this. What was our transition in here? Speak uh, real quick. Uh, I want to say for uh, Euro Truck Simulator, one thing I thought was hilarious is the fact that I saw Charles Leclerc, Charles Leclerc, uh, who was a Formula One driver playing Euro Truck Sim, like on his last two streams. I was like, yeah, this gives it some uh, notability, I guess. All right, we are well, wait, 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 high. Where are we going? Where's our next waypoint? Fight? Alright, where's Fight? Here's Fight. We need to be at 11,000. That is all the way wrong. That says 27. That is way wrong. Jesus. Alright, execute. This is why I'm glad I checked. We're still late on our top of the scent, and I'm very thankful we're not on Pilot Edge right now because we'd be getting yelled at for missing that uh, arrival. So, I'm gonna change my altitude to 11,000. Not sure if we're gonna make it there on time, but we'll do what we can. I think vertical speed is already on. And we'll start our descent. And we'll slow our descent to like 760, something like that. And we'll go pretty quickly. We hit like 28,000. Make sure you chew some gum. That ain't nothing, it's just the engine slowing down. Contrailing, Kim trailing over to Chicago. Shite town. So I know somebody said that they're from Chicago. A few, a few of you guys are from Chicago or around the area of Chicago and Detroit. Uh, what's, the weather look, what, what's the weather look like in real life for you guys right now? Is it actually snowing? I don't get your hopes up and think we're gonna actually see snow on the ground because I don't think it's gonna happen. It'd be nice, it'd be really nice, but I don't think it's gonna happen right now. I don't think our plugins will allow it today. That is something else that X Plane should include by default is seasons. And speaking of in that, speaking of seasons, I don't know if Microsoft Flight Simulator is gonna have that feature, but I'm really hoping that they will um, by default, and we don't need a plugin to make it happen. Um, so I'm really hoping that they do that. I don't know if they are. I know I've seen some shots of it, of like snowy areas, but I don't know if it's like just how it is there or or what. Who knows? Oh man, we already missed our TOD. That's what we do. We always miss our DOD. Light snow. So it is snowing. All right, cool. Shout out to the Chicago fam in the building today. 
I haven't been to Chicago in like probably two years now, actually. Last time I went, it was cold. It was not snowing, but it was cold. It seems that the only time I ever decide to go to the cold, like cold areas of the, of the US is when it's cold. I never go in the summer. I don't know why. Chicago, Canada. Alright, checking on top of the sand. Let's see. So we are here. 300 knots. Nice. Thank you, Captain Bumbos, for confirming that. So it will have seasons. Great, great, great. Uh, CJ Infinite Flight, I actually disagree with the fact that people believe that Microsoft Flight Simulator won't need scenery plugins or add-ons. Um, I think that senior, I think that developers will still find gaps in Microsoft Flight Simulator that need to be filled because there's no way they can do everything. Like, I'm still excited for it. I know it's gonna be amazing. It's probably gonna be better than what's out now, but yeah. And matter of fact, also, what do you guys think about prepared? 3D V5. Any of you guys uh, fly prepared? And if you do, have you tried it? Is it an actual upgrade? Are they making you pay for it again? Like, what's up with that? Uh, also, another flight simulator is coming out. Dead Stick. Um, it's really mo it's mostly mostly focused on like bush flying. It's probably all focused on bush flying, but I'm interested because I love bush flying. I think VFR bush flying is so much freaking fun, and I can't wait for that thing to come out. Trust me, I will be flying it. I probably will be streaming it. I think this is a really good year for flight simulation. Um, the prepared people got them a little V5. You know, they got them a little V5. X-Plane got us a little Vulcan. A much needed long <laughs> Vulcan. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is supposed to come out this year. We hope still. Hope they're, hopefully they're not too behind schedule. Um, and then uh, Dead Stick is supposed to come out as well. Which would be great for people who love bush flying. We're doing really good on time too. Very nice cloud layer, absolutely. And yeah, I do. I think there's definitely gonna be um, an aircraft, aircraft missing in flight sim. There's no way they can make all the aircraft either. So it's, I mean, we already know there's developers who are already developing and working on um, like plugins and aircraft for flight simulators. So looking forward to that, and I'm just hoping that they're not too expensive. That is my thing. Uh, Zeldman, I do have Navigraph, yes. I've had a subscription for quite a while now. It's kind of hard not to have it, especially if you fly online. Like, if you if you don't fly online much, then you really don't need it. But if you fly online, um, you definitely want it. Because you want to have the updated stuff. The last thing you want is to be getting your IFR clearance and they give you a, a departure or arrival or a waypoint that you don't have. You're like, well, dang. Pier B, how to lay hands on this one? You can get this on the uh, Explain store. All right, what is our weather? Can somebody uh, get the weather for me in Chicago if you don't mind? We are very close, actually. We're only like five-ish minutes away. It says on Project Fly, based on our speed, we're probably really, in reality, like not like 10, 10 minutes away, uh, with the whole arrival and all that. You getting tired of Zebo? <laughs> man. I love Zebo, man. Zebo is always going to be like that go-to airliner to fly. You know, and if you fly too much, you may like go away from it and fly something else for a little while, but you're going to come back to Zebo. Like Zebo is going to be that go-to plane absolutely for sure. All right, we're passing 16,000 for 11,000 approaching into Chicago above the cloud layer again. Remember, our cloud layer actually goes all the way down to 700 feet. So, it's going to be looking like this for a while. And I'm going to take a look at this. Clear traffic, Delta 3540 is on the left base for a 10 center. Oh, here, traffic. Is he landing on a 10? Is that what he said? Uh oh. 
Yeah, actually the winds are technically in favor of the other side today. Really, Chicago Aviation, you are 23 and you never been on a plane? Bro, we need to make that happen for you. That is not okay. I mean, even though, I don't know, something. Alright, yeah, we're getting a bit fast. We're coming up to 11,000. We're still high. I'm um, thinking of switching our runway to the other side. I just gotta find out which one. He said he was landing on 10 left. I mean, we could do 10 center. But that's gonna switch it up quite a bit because we're like really close. Let's see if we try a 10 center. Uh, Gibbs and not sure. And I'm gonna execute that and see what happens. It always makes me nervous whenever I do something like this last minute. So we're still okay. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll, uh... Where are we going? Are we still flying a fight? Or where are we going right now? It is not going that way. Is the MD-80 worth it? Yes. Oh, now we can kind of see a little bit of a city down there through the clouds. We're right above the cloud layer. That's cool. All right, let's find out what we need to be at. Why does this keep disappearing? Thank you. All right, let's switch our runway. Switching last minute's runway. One, zero, center. ILS, please. There she is. Gotcha, Owen. Gotcha, man. It, it is, the weather is, is, uh, 0, 6, 0 at 11. Uh, it actually cleared up a little bit. It's 5 statue miles now, snowing. And the clouds are at 900. So that's kind of changed a little bit. I don't know why my altitude is not holding when I want it to hold, but we can keep descending, so we gotta descend anyways. And why are we turning? Go into heading mode, please, and alt hold. Thank you. I don't know where that heading is. Where is my heading? That's my speed. There we go. All right. I want to go that way. Take me to Gibbons. Please. And hold my speed at... Two... 220-ish, something like that. Actually, let's go 250. Alright, we're at 9,000. So we're gonna be on the left downwind for only one zero center. Oh, we're trying to turn to that. And what is this? Is this the right chart? One zero center. Yeah. So we're gonna go out to Gibbons. We're gonna be at 8,000. Let's do 8,000. Let's just go to Barry. There's Barry. Let's go direct to Barry. Direct. Barry. Uh, execute? No, that's not how you do it. <laughs> how do I do it? I can't remember how to do it. Barry. I think it hit dirt. There we go. Alright. Got it. Execute. Alright. And then back to nav mode. Actually, I think it did it automatically. Yes, it did. Alright. Cool. So we're going to direct to Barry. And we'd be at Barry at uh, 8,000. 9,000. And we're at nine or eight. So I'll go down a few hundred. I don't know how to change this. Let's do 800, 8,800, that's fine. Uh, vertical speed is not on. Vertical speed coming on now, down about 1,000. Yeah, looks like we have a, a, a cloud layer right below us. Speed brakes can go away. What? Ego Dynamic just announced a free for all month. For DCS this whole month everything is that is crazy bro guys DCS go now <laughs> even if you don't like fighter jets try it it's free that's amazing thank you man for telling me that. I didn't know that that is amazing what a world premiere good to see you. welcome to the stream 
That's crazy, man. You never flown a plane. You always gone spotting at uh, Midway and O'Hare, but haven't gotten a chance to fly. You will, man. Your day will come, bro. It's just like they say. I hate this. I hate quoting like super popular quotes. They say if you hang around the barbershop long enough, you end up with a haircut. So if you hang around the uh, airport long enough, you eventually get on the flight. And I I feel the same way about pilot license. If you go, <laughs> if you hang around enough flight schools long enough, you'll get a flight <laughs> flight lesson. Um, that's cool though. That's cool. Daily video. What's up, man? You take flying lessons and you love X plane. Amazing, bro. I'm also working on my PPL. I really haven't been doing much with it lately. To be honest with you. I'll be 100% honest with you. I've been slagging. Um, I need to get back on it. But um, my goal is to get a PPL and get my private pilot license and then eventually my commercial. Would love to fly King Airs. Would love to fly private jets. And I wouldn't mind flying an airliner as well. All right, descending for 8,000. Uh, let's get our ILS information ready. That's right, gonna be 108.95. And what is that beeping? All right, I gotta do the whole thing again because it doesn't like to hold my altitude. All right, where's my navigation data? Not this. Oh, it's up here. Speaking of haircuts, I need a haircut myself. 108.95. 108. 95 CRS. G, are you gonna be joining us in our second flight, man? Or are you still busy? 093. It's a short one from Chicago to Detroit. It's like super short. Big 9593. Alright, and we're not yeah, we're on we're on nav navigation mode. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, we're almost there. Left base, 1-0 center. Chicago traffic, Northwest 116 is on left base, runway 1-0 center, Chicago. I'm not able to post a link right now for DCS World, but uh, just search Google DCS World and you'll find it. It's free. It's already free to download DCS World, um, but the add-ons weren't free before. But I mean, if they're giving like a lot of these add-ons are like worth like sixty to eighty dollars, um, so that's crazy. I have a lot of the ones that I want, <laughs> so there's really nothing for me to get. But uh, it'd be cool to, to get some of you guys to fly with me or at least try it. Um, I think one of the hardest parts about trying DCS World is the fact that you get some really sucky planes in the beginning that most people don't really care about. They have like a Russian Su-25 frog foot nobody cares about. Look at this wing view. Here's our song. Ten C, amazing approach. Thank you. Hopefully, let's see. Yeah, so um, I'm thinking I was supposed to do a DCS World stream this week, um, but the Super Carrier update was delayed because of, you know, technical problems. That's a screenshot. Um, so, but I think I might bring DCS in next week. All right, let's go ahead and hit that approach mode button. Where is it at? All right, let's. Nope. All right, well, I probably should have looked at this earlier. We're gonna need it today. Alright, let's. Uh, can somebody remind me where the approach button is on this plane? Uh oh. Plane likes to be on, though. Daily video, you love Houston Hobby Airport? Nice, man. I don't love it because I live in Houston, but I like the other airport, Houston International, Houston IAH. Oh shoot, what is the altimeter? 3003, we need to know that. That's very important right now. And we're passing Killam, Kyla. We need to be at 7,000, we're going down to five because I'm still trying to find my autopilot button. <laughs> Vertical speed, let's go. And we'll slow down, way down. Let's go down like 190 knots. Speed brakes out. Should be in the center top console. Nav? No, not nav. I see ILS. I see. Oh, there it is. Okay, now it's working. It wasn't working before, but now it's working. Oh, 
Is twenty dollars a sale for American Truck Simulator? I believe so. AV Geek, what's up, man? Good to see you. Perfect song. Uh, what do I use for my plugin for my microphone for Vatsim? I use X Pilot. Everybody say hello to Flying Zoe with Flying Over His Hometown. Alright, guys, I gotta hold the rest of these questions. Let me focus on landing the plane because I can't see Jack Split. Oh, I love this song. I left my heart in Stockholm. Oh. <laughs> now I never gonna go home. Okay, I'm messing around. I'm supposed to be focused on landing. I'm freaking doing voice effects. Owen just a classic Cuban just landing. He said the weather isn't horrible. I actually see the approach lights through the clouds a little bit, so that's a good sign. I think we are actually tracking the localizer. I'm gonna hit Alt Hope because I think we're below the ILS right now. I'm not sure. Rodo? Oh no, we're above it. Yeah, yeah, we're above it. We're above it. I don't sing, guys. Just letting you know. Flaps coming down. Only when I'm feeling goofy is when I sing. And this is one of those times. Drewski, how can you get this song? I assume you could just search it and I don't know. I've never looked for this song anywhere else but on uh, Epidemic Sound. Um, but it's it's called Stockholm by Ravel Day. R-E-V-E-L Day. And it's my personal favorite. Well, of a lot of us in the stream's favorite song right now that I've been playing in the stream. And uh, look at this. The, the sky has opened up for us in the Chicago. And on that note, we're actually going to shut the music off. And we'll land a plane. We'll continue. We do have one more leg into Detroit today from Chicago. And we're still above the freaking ILS. And fast. Let's be ready to come back out. Um, I see 10 center up ahead of us. I don't know how far we are. How far are we? I don't understand these screens. Uh, we are, I think that's five, yeah, that's five miles. Uh, Chicago, Chicago, where are we at? Where are we at? Chicago, Chicago traffic, traffic North Northwest 116 North is five, five mile, mile final, final right one zero one center. center. Chicago, Chicago okay. Alright, fuck. Gear's coming down. And I'm just gonna take it from here because I can see. So autopilot's gonna come off for me. As well as auto throttle. Alright, I have the controls. Land lights are on. Gear is down and indicating three green. We are high. Oh, we're starting to get some precipitation on the windows now. Actually, a lot of precipitation. I think that snow might be some. Some icy snow. Slowly introducing some flaps. It's getting a little bumpy. It's not ridiculous. I don't know what that was spoiler. Getting some frame drops too, which is expected flying in Chicago for me because I have uh, the whole freaking downtown modeled. It's probably loading that. Chicago traffic drop of 3540 is clear, runway 10 left. Chicago traffic. This would be really sick if the Live Rain was working right now, but you know. 
but wait for that to update. Tyre, we are landing in Chicago now. Short final, runway one zero center. One thousand. One thousand. And we're still high. Still high. I see all four white lights. There's one red. One red. Watch your speed. Five hundred. One red. Still one red. Four hundred. There's two. Power, power. Before we stall. Right now we're low. Two hundred. One hundred. One hundred. Oh, really slow, actually. That's why we're dropping. Oh, we're dropping. 40, 40, Watch out for the float, though. 30, 20, 10. Oh, big float, guys. Big float. Oh, big float. Oh, we're, we're saving everybody on Titanic on this one. And we're down. All right, waiting for the nose. There is the nose. And reversers are out. That was our first try. We got one more. <laughs> I think we put it down pretty soft, but we did float, like, big time. I will exit to the left. I had to park in traffic on the other Lauren way. We'll hold short runway one zero left. See the wet runway, it's pretty cool. Well, welcome to Chicago! I actually really like Chicago in real life. I like the airport a lot. Or O'Hare. I've never been to, um... What's the other one called? <laughs> I've never been... Can I go this way? I'll take the next one. I've never been to Midway in real life. But I've been to O'Hare multiple times. Right, we will take Fox... Wait, where is... Yeah, that would've took us where we wanted to go. I guess we had to take Echo Echo straight across to the parking. Again, as I said, guys, welcome to Chicago O'Hare. It's a little cold and snowy. Hopefully you brought, hopefully you brought your jackets. Landing was okay. I didn't hurt anybody's butt, I don't think. But we did float it quite a bit. Like, that was a major float. When we watch that replay, we're going to see it go like this. <laughs> Midway's closed right now. Really? Wow, that's crazy. They shut the whole airport down? That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Yeah, I, sh I probably should have took Papa, but I missed it. This is what happens when you're unfamiliar with the airport. Oh, actually, we're on Papa right now. This is Papa. And we'll do Echo Echo Crossing 10 left. We'll let them know now. Chicago, Chicago traffic, traffic North 116 is crossing, crossing runway 10 one one left, left at, at Echo Echo. 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 Chicago, Chicago traffic. Traffic. Looks like it's clear to me. Again, guys, we're flying into Driswicki, uh, Chicago Airports XP. The same guy who made Seattle Airports XP and New York Airports XP. Uh, I do want to give him a big shout out because he did actually provide me with this copy. I cannot lie. <laughs> um, but my honest opinion, even though he did give me this one, is that it is pretty hard on frames. And not, I don't know if the, it may not be the airport because I'm running the airport and the city XP pack together. And as you can see, I'm getting about 28 on Vulcan. Um, so it could use a bit more optimization. It looks amazing though. Like, it looks amazing. It's just a bit hard on the frame. So if, you're, if you don't have an amazing machine, it might not work out too well for you. There's also the Nimbus Chicago option. I also have the Nimbus Chicago. And I was very impressed by Nimbus's version of Chicago. I was actually surprised that Driswicki actually pulled off a better Chicago. Even though it's a bit harder, it's actually a bit harder on frames. Um, visually and like the modeling and the detail, he actually went into more detail. I was actually really surprised because Nimbus is known 
for how amazing and detailed his scenery is. Um, and I knew, though, when Jazwicky had to come out with Chicago after Nimbus had already had a Chicago out for over a year, I'm like, he better come with it. It got to be good. It got to be real good. Uh, I might show you guys around a little bit before we head to Detroit. Uh, we have a short flight to Detroit coming up next. If you want to join us, we'll be on Vatsim. Uh, we'll be flying Delta, actually. You guys chose Delta, so we'll fly to Delta. Went a little wide on that entry. Hopefully we can straighten it up. Um, do I have the Bombardier Dash? I I have the Dash 8. I, I own it. I just don't have it installed right now. I think we might have corrected it a bit. Okay, so we go. So left. Alright, forward, forward, forward. Stop. Alright, here we go. I, I did not turn the AP one, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll do it now. Where is that? That's over here. We don't have to completely go cold and dark for the next leg. Hopefully we don't have any crashes or anything like that. We've, this, this will be my first time doing two legs on Vulcan if we make it that far. We got all that wet ramp there. I'm in a 787 gate. I don't know where to park. <laughs> I don't know. How am I supposed to know where I'm supposed to park? I have no clue. I like that he models the interiors. Uh, Nimbus is the same thing. Now I'm, I'm noticing there is an issue with like the wet ground textures, like they're see-through. Like, yeah, it's, it's an issue. So I don't, I don't know if that's an airport problem or that's a weather thing. No idea, but something weird happening here. Yeah, that is a pretty big jetway for an MD-80, ain't it? For Delta, use Terminal Two uh, E gates. All right, all right, I'll take it from the locals. I'll take it from the locals. Gotcha. All right, AP1, or no, no, wait, was it already on? I think it was already on, all right, do that, shut the engine down, by starving it of fuel, this is a horrible play, I don't know why there's no like, you know like with cars, you just turn it off, like how come planes are not just like, shut it off, like, you freaking starve them of fuel, of their one resource that they need, now, I think the parking brake is on, I'm trying to beacon off too, which is not up there. I keep thinking I'm in a Boeing or Airbus, uh, which is the strobes, anti-collisions go off, wing lights go off, and here comes a jetway. Let's see if it'll lower for us. Come on down! Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, you gotta love it. A technology we should have had an X Plane 10. <laughs> All right, that's done. Engines should be shut off. The doors should be closed, and we're ready for. Uh, actually, um, you guys were betting, not betting, but guessing our landing rate was a negative 216 today. Let's go find out why. Let me get off of Adsim. Hit the magic button and replay. Come on. <laughs> there it is. Got you like, come on down. <laughs> Spores didn't come out either. I didn't I didn't arm him. That was my mistake. Let's do this. I like this view too. 
we'll do this uh oh look at that reflection that is legit oh the door is open that's not cool i left my heart in stockholm all right it's not gonna close oh well just ignore that oh that's dope Can't see nothing, just friggin' wet. There we go. That didn't look bad at all. Like, we floated, but once we touched down, like, it was pretty soft. Those massive friggin' rotate MD80 tires. That looks legit. That's a lot of grass. That might be one reason that we have such bad frames, all that friggin' grass. Oh man, that, that door is so annoying. You know, I'm not. I know some people can deal with it, I can't deal with it. Hold on. Stand by. Door toggle. Close. Is it closed? I can't tell. I think it's closed. Yep, yeah, it's closed. Alright, here we go. Beautiful. Let's go! What up, G-Man, dudes, welcome back, man. Derek Scott, thank you very much for the B+. Plus. I'll take it. Na, 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 na. And we'll start right here over the highway. Still up there. We didn't go too too long, but we definitely were up there a while. But hey, you know, all for passenger comfort. All for passenger comfort. Oh, is it train tracks? My bad. My bad. It looked like highway on X plane. All right. One more view, and then we're gonna head into our second flight, Delta. 116 is heading to Detroit from Chicago on VATSIM in the MD-80. That's happening up next. I'm going to do it from like... Hey, where's the spotters at? That'd be a cool view to watch it from like where the spotters watch it. I assume it's like behind the runway somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, honestly, that wasn't bad at all. That wasn't bad at all. Held the nose up for quite a little bit of while, bleeding off even more speed. Maybe hit the reverses a little too early. I didn't really activate him until we got the nose down, though. I'll take it. I'll take it. Dope, 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 man. It's a good flight. That was a good flight, and we did really good on time. So let's go ahead and get going with the second flight. Exiting out of that. I'm going to skip through a few songs. Let's start, like, I don't know what this is, but we'll start here. All right, so I do know you guys requested us fly in the Delta, that dirty Delta livery. Let's go get that. Uh, Delta current, dirty. And then you were saying to go to, what was it? Uh, the Echo Gates? Where's Echo? Echo 15, we'll do Echo. What did you say? We'll do Echo 5, we'll do that. Confirm. Everything else looks still the bang. And start a new flight. Alright, I got my second flight already uh, filed. 
on Vatsim, so that's ready to go. I was doing that while you guys were watching the replay. Looking forward to this one too, because we probably have some pretty bad weather in Detroit too. I think this whole area is just kind of like covered by a massive, like, I guess, snowstorm. Hopefully it doesn't take too long and hopefully it doesn't crash. <laughs> I don't see any reason why I should crash. I didn't change anything except for my livery. There it is. There's a small airport north of O'Hare, PWK, that has its own public viewing area with benches and picnic tables. That's cool. I like it when airports uh, do that because there are people like us who just want to sit and watch planes land and take off. Um, so that's really cool. Um, a lot of times you gotta sneak into like, you know, freaking sketchy abandoned lots, you know, camp out there and, and do it. Uh, or sneak into an airport, don't do that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta kind of go out of your way to find somewhere to do it. So I'm, I'm glad that some airports are actually, like, you know, taking spotters in like that. That's pretty cool. Alright, I got my flight ready on Project Fly. Let's get that registered. And we are ready to go, guys. Estoy listo. I'm practicing my Spanish. If you hear me say random Spanish words, that's why. That's why that's happening. <laughs> I just hit, uh, on Duolingo, I just hit a 100 days streak on Duolingo. And I got to work on my 101. I actually got to do that today. Or was it 102? Oh, shoot. Did I miss a day? Please say I didn't miss a day. Either way, working on it. Working on it. Can you see that? There it is. Yo, Hugo, what's up, bro? Good to see you. It has been a long time, man. I haven't heard from you in a minute, man. I hope you've been doing well, man. That's cool, man. Can we be doing a share copy with somebody later? That's dope. Dope, dope, dope. Alright, let's get the plane going. We do have another flight to do. And not a lot of time. So, GPU is avail. Sorry, APU is a video. That's crazy. We reload the plane. We still have all that. Let's take a look. See, if we have the de that Delta delivery. I know I'm talking fast. But I'm trying to get stuff going. All right, look at that. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> I was going to connect to uh, Vatsim as Delta One One Six. I am now connected. I don't think we have any ATC. I highly doubt we're going to get ATC in the US for the next four four hours. So. Alright, we're at the gate Echo 5. Let's get her started up. Alright, is the battery on? Yes, battery's on. Everything is on. I think I think everything stayed on as we left it, except for the screens. Why are my screens off? Uh-oh. Oh no wait, that's the APU. Yeah, APU's on. Battery's on. But no lights are on. What's up with you? Cool, Chicago. Pretty cool, man. Uh, Chicago Aviation. I gotta figure out why my avionics are broken. It might be... I might need to reload the plane completely. Let's shut the APU off. Turn it back on. There it is. That's some kind of glitch. We've done so much since our last flight. We did replay like five times and it was freaking out during that whole thing. So it's probably something to do with the systems. I can't imagine what the coding is like for these planes. Like I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't. All right, please. Okay, then my, why is this? Okay, it's working. Hey, right, cool. All right, let's head back to the index. Actually, the index. And then we're going to go to position. And new position is... Uh, we probably don't need... We probably don't need to do this. No, we don't. That's already been done. 
Let's change our origin now. We'll do Kilo, Oscar, Romeo, Delta. I'm just so not used to doing two multiple fights in a row that I'm always like trying to do Cold and Dark again. Uh, we'll head to Detroit for our final stop today. And it all just <laughs> it all just shut off. APU just died. Oh, I think it was because I shut it off earlier on accident. All right. Well, while we wait for that, we are now listening to the Blue Arrow Radio on FM one one six. Jams. This song's called "Lord I Mercy" <laughs> by Lau Rickard. <laughs> Come on, APU, fire back up for me. There it is. I should have just did it cold and dark all over again. All right, it's doing its thing. I have no power right now. Come on. My favorite airport is uh, in real life, San Francisco. It might change though. It's been San Francisco for a while, but there's a lot of better airports than that that I haven't been to. Uh, come on, APU, what's up? All right, battery off. Battery on. APU on. I use this song for my uh, Cessna Caravan review. Philly, what up? Okay, my APU keeps dying. Am I missing something here? Oh, start pump needs to be on. Duh -duh. Oh yeah, you go. We can absolutely play it back. I love it so much that I can hear this on repeat like five times. I won't do it to you. We'll do it once. We'll, do it <laughs> we'll play it back one more time. All right, come on, APU, stick in there for me. Like it makes me less upset that my APU is acting up because the song is just so jamming. There we go. APU is alive. No, don't end. <sighs> Bro, I remember when I was looking for music for a video and I found this song, I was like, this is it, this is the one. What up, Nick, good to see you, bro. Man, I, you guys have no idea. And I'm pretty sure if you make videos out there as well, you understand how it, is, how it feels. When you're looking for music for a video, it, it can take days sometimes. Um, you just gotta find the right song. Alright, APU's on. I'm gonna keep the music going. The good vibes going. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Alright, here we go. And we're gonna go through our startup checklist that I have. My unofficial startup checklist. Alright, APU's on. Let's check on our IRS. I think it's already on still. Yeah, it's good. Let's go ahead and do our FMC now. Actually, no. We'll do the APU bleed. And the packs. And galley lights are already on. Windshield are already on. Yaw damper is on. Air supply is on. And the lower pedestal lever is up. So we'll go ahead and do our flight plan now. All right, as I said, headed to Detroit. Kilo Delta Tango Whiskey. Oops. Execute. And we'll be departing runway 10 left via the ORD 1. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 
Alright, so next. Rainer is our first waypoint. We're actually going to be heading up north on this departure. Why? I don't know why Simbrief routed us this way, but we're going to be heading up north. That's not how you spell it. Um, and then to the east. So it won't be going direct there, so it will take a little bit longer than it should, but we might we might switch it up. We'll see. Execute. Next page. Direct to Bravo Romeo Tango Mike November. And then Taze T double A Y Z. And then Porzel P O R Z O. Ah, shoot. Did I spell it wrong? P O R Z L. Not in database. Weird. Okay. Well, we'll just go straight to our arrival then. We'll execute what we got. Departure arrival. I don't know what room we're going to get yet in Detroit. So let's go ahead and pick the Ricky. Wait, don't tell me it's not even in here at all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. That's weird. What up, Nick, man? What's good to see you, man? I don't have the Rick City 2 arrival. Um, I think, because I, I updated this plane this morning, and I don't think I updated the nav data, so maybe the nav data is out of date on this ver of this plane, so dang it. Like, my X-plane nav data is up to date, but I don't think the plane is up to date, because it's missing that whole arrival that I want. So, I will go to plan. It doesn't have either of these arrivals on Simbrick. There's a KISS 2 arrival. Uh, so we'll do something more basic, I guess, then. Um, which sucks, because we won't have a departure or arrival. Uh, to update the nav data, you can use uh, navagraph.com. It has an FMS nav, uh, nav data updater. And it usually updates all your planes, as well as your X-plane core nav data. And... Uh, it usually updates this one too, but it, yeah. So uh, go ahead, delete all these then. Dang it. Route, route, route. Uh, Nick, I'm on X Plane Beta. The Vulcan update. This is Beta 4. Delete. 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 All right, so now our first waypoint is gonna be Bay. Bravo, Alpha, Echo. Hopefully this one works. Uh, Mike, Elo, Golf. If somebody wouldn't mind getting me the weather in Detroit right now uh, by typing exclamation mark Meetar. That'd be a huge help. Foxtrot, November. Tango. I like this zone too a lot. You gotta type in METAR and then Detroit. <laughs> Sorry guys. Type in exclamation, exclamation mark METAR space KDTW. Nightbot's like, where? 
Okay, right, I think this is our this is our, our flight plan. Let's take, let's take a real quick look at it. Uh, MKG, I'm missing a bunch of stuff. Where is Bay? Oh well, whatever. We're gonna go with it. It's a short flight. I'll fly by hand if I gotta. Uh, for rival, we don't have an actual rival. I just put in a a thingy. All right, thank you guys. Who was that? Uh, Flying Zoid bringing us the weather today. Uh, one zero zero five, half a mile visibility. Jeez, rain and snow and fog. And one thing I've always learned: if you see a whole bunch of letters and numbers in the METAR, the weather ain't good. So, uh, uh, so ten. Let's see. So look at the the, the map and find out what runway we should take in Detroit. So we can program it in ahead of time. We'll get rid of all of these. Yeah, Nicholas, you gotta type the whole four letter IKO. ILS today? Yep, it's an ILS kind of day. Dang, 21 frames, what happened? <laughs> uh, approach. Wait, no, I want airport first. Alright, we're probably gonna land on zero four right. Yeah. Right, there it is. Uh sure. Excuse. All right, we're done. <laughs> Give me something, something, something good, man. I love this part of my playlist. Oh man, I have like this part. I, 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 I think a part of me is is like it's got to be Caribbean because I love Caribbean music so much. I'm gonna play this song a second time. It's like so jazzy, but then like I like ah, it's when I freaking sit on a, a freaking hammock. On a beach somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, Trisky. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Uh, I think all this is, is good enough. We'll, we'll get there. If, if, worst case scenario, we'll go direct to Detroit and then do visual to the ILS 04, right? Um, yeah. What's next? Hydraulic, hydraulic bumps. Let's turn those on. We don't want to forget that again. That's over here. And shut all the doors. Is the door closed? There's also a place to do that in here. I think if I go to index, aircraft management, GPU, GPS, uh, aft door, cargo door, wait. I think the door is closed. Oh, it says open, so close it. Did it work? There it is, it's closed. Alright, cool. Alright, beacon on. Beacon. Beacon. Can't get you out of my mind. There she goes. Still, still with me all the time. What up, Wyatt? Good to see you, man. Good stream. Uh, brain fart. Start pushback. Hey, Captain, let me know where you want this thing. I think I want to go this way. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. All right, man. Flying's what I see you next time, man. Thanks for coming through and hanging out with me for a little bit. Appreciate it. Uh, Drewski, actually, I haven't thought about publishing the music that I play on stream. 
It's not a bad idea. I'll have to look into a way of making that happen. Actually, yeah, I have thought about that. I thought talked about that earlier. I want to figure it out. All right, push that trucks on the way. I think we're good to go. Doors are closed this time. Uh, this is take two. And I'm gonna turn the fuel. Actually, we we need fuel. That's something we should we haven't done. We haven't we haven't added fuel. <laughs> so let's take a look at this thing. Uh, we don't need that All stuff. right, looks like see. the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. Who needs passengers? We just need 7,800 kilograms. <laughs> How much we got? We don't know. Uh, let's do 8,000. Do really, really quickly fill up the plane. And load fuel, start. Expedite. All right, I think it's done. All right, I want to play that song again because I was I was jamming it so hard just now. Where'd you go? All right. Uh, cargo. Can I load it? No, the door had to be open. I don't want to do all that. We'll, we'll, we'll not worry about that part. I will fuel up, ready to go. I'm not worry about any of the other stuff. And I think we just release the park and break and roll out. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I really do. Uh, air supplies on. Air on. We'll do system B for this one. And I will pause the music actually for the engine to start. There's not a lot to hear, but there is something. And pause. There it is. It's just early in the day, um, Sky Studios, especially in the U.S. Like a lot of you don't really see a lot of activity on VATSIM in the U.S. until like prime time, I guess, like around 5 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. to you know later on. Uh, all right, so engine two. Let's see. I do feel like I'm forgetting something. Chicago traffic, come here. Pax. Uh, about traffic, American there we go. Oh, Hope I don't sound like that when I talk on radio. Chicago traffic, United 616. We're about uh, five nautical miles from right, we have... uh, Hawaii Waypoint to join finals for only one And two is rising. There's 12%. Hope this flight plan works. <laughs> I mean, we're not, there's no ATC, so I'm not like concerned, but I just, it would be nice. Alright, we're just at 20% right there, introducing fuel in the right tank. And we're firing up. Short visit to Chicago. It's almost coming to an end. The Hilton Hotel behind us. Yeah, Christopher, we're going all the way classic. We started out with Northwest, and on this leg, we're start we're flying with the Delta livery. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Probably my second favorite MD80. I, I don't know. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me I, just I a don't moment. know anymore. It used to be until I found the Alitalia livery that we flew. I love that livery, and then Northwest livery. I love that livery too. So it might be number four now on my list of MD80 liveries. All right, we got one good engine on the right side. Let's get another one. Starting engine number one. Call sign blue. Uh, my call sign right now is Delta 160. It should be. That's what I filed it as. All right, we got moving on in two. The truck's on his way out. And we're disconnected. Signal and pen on the left. Take it easy and have a safe flight. Uh, what do you guys think about that new Vulcan plane that just came out, I think, today? What do you guys think about that? I don't even know what that is, honestly. Like, I have no idea what a, what the Vulcan plane is. Is that a Russian? Sounds, it sounds Russian. 
Uh, what brand computer do I have? I don't really have a brand. It's more of a custom-built computer by Maingear.com. All right, I think this actually we need to put fuel. We need to introduce fuel on the second engine. Chicago Truck American 616, uh, just joining finals now at Cardi for one zero left. Uh, on Project Fly, I think I'm all. I'm still using the Northwest All Science. Which I didn't. I wasn't planning on changing like airlines between flights. So right now, if, on Project Fly, it probably says. Northwest, which it does, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. On Vatsim, I'm actually going by Delta 116. I just, I pre-made the Project Fly route, and so it's going to say on top of the screen, Northwest. Just ignore it. If it bothers you, I can take it off completely. I don't mind. I'm cool with that. Alright, both engines are up and stabilized. We are now going to go through my checklist, because I keep forgetting what to do next. Uh, fuel... Packs back on. We'll shut these off. Close that. Close that. Then the off position. Uh, star pump can go off. Air. We have air. APU can go off too. There. And there. And center pillar also. That's good. Stall test. That sounds good. Flap's going to go down to 11. That's 15. That's 11. Can barely see them moving. And then we're going to add some taxi lights. And we'll be taxiing the runway 10 left for our second flight. We'll be climbing up to, I don't know, 18,000 18, for now. Heavies, uh, 12 miles out on the ILS 10 left. We're 150 knots. And uh, we got to find out how to get there. This is a lot of taxiways to get the 10 left. So we'll take, we'll go straight ahead. We'll find Alpha 9. Take Alpha 9 to. Kilo, and I guess from there we'll just take Kilo all the way down. We could switch Midway at any point. America Kilo Zulu, one's right left. We'll do that. Gate Alpha 11, taxi runway zero four right it's actually getting pretty busy in Chicago. Yankee. I'm hearing a lot of traffic. Hold short. Midway traffic. And we're rolling. Hey, few shutting off. Really quick, get a weather check. It's no longer snowing at the airport in Chicago. It's now just cloudy. Winds are 060 at 9, visibility is now 10, broken at 1100, overcast at 19, 0301, altimeter 3002. Altimeter's only changed a tiny bit. By right, one dot. Chicago air traffic, Delta 3709, taxi to taxi. 10 left. Guess I, should, November, Chicago guess I should tell people what I'm doing, huh? Uh, Kilo. Uh, Chicago, Chicago traffic. traffic. Delta, Delta 116, 116 taxi runway 10 left, 10 left, 10 left, 10 left, 10 left, left via Kilo Zulu. Chicago here. Alright, so Alpha 9 should be on our left. Uh, does the main gear website have good prices? They're. What was that? Is that on? <laughs> uh, uh, they're not cheap. I'll be honest. They're not going to be the cheapest you can get. But they make really good quality stuff. And they have amazing customer service. And if you do decide to buy anything from Main Gear, you can use my link. And I will actually... Kilo, Alpha 9. Uh, get a little bit of kickback from it, so that would be appreciated. <laughs> I am actually a main gear affiliate now, which is pretty cool. I thought this guy was gonna go in his air in his Embraer ahead of us. We'll just wait for him. Chicago traffic, American 215 heavy, six miles out, ILS 10 left. Chicago traffic, United 616 going west for only one All right, he's out of the way.
Yeah, like my PC um, cost me like 2500 But that's like, I think that's including the monitor and stuff, so I, w I went a little bit lower than that, actually. So I got the tower a bit less than that. But I only got a 1080 monitor. I didn't go all out on the monitor. Like, I went, like, pretty hardcore on the actual, like, machine itself. And then I went soft on the screen and on my, like, keyboard and mouse. Like, I got super cheap keyboard, super cheap mouse, and a okay price monitor. It's not 4K, it's 1080. I don't think it's the best of, like, um, hertz or whatever. Either way, am I supposed to go left or right? Where am I at? Right, okay. Like as far as like my actual setup is like as far as like my my main stuff like my screen like I think that I could definitely upgrade my screen or at least get a second one. I'm kind of debating on whether I should get a second screen or if I should just get a better bigger screen. They're pretty good. They're pretty good, man. And I would honestly recommend like I know that you could technically do everything online. Um, but what I did, because buying a computer is a big purchase, and like I kind of like that that personal one-on-one -on -one time with somebody to talk and, and kind of get an idea of the vibe of the, not only the company, but also learn. Like me, I don't know a lot about computers enough to build my own. I know I could learn. I know I could figure it out. I know I could watch tutorial videos and figure out how to make my own computer, but um, I really honestly don't know what I need. Um, so what I did when I bought my computer is I called up a bunch of places not just Mangear. Mangear is just the one that I ended up choosing in the end. Um, but eventually I called Mangear and I was like, hey, this is what I want to do with my computer, right? Like I was like, I want to stream. Uh, I want to be able to stream in 4K if I decide to. I want to be able to record videos in 4K if I decide to. I want to be able to do VR. At the time I didn't have VR, at the time I didn't have 4K. So like I was, I was building a computer that I wanted to be able to grow into and not just something that was going to satisfy my needs right now. Because um, at the time, I didn't have a PC at all. I had a laptop that couldn't do any of these things, right? But I was like, I know that I, you know, I'm kind of trying to, I'm trying to grow a YouTube channel, and I'm trying to make sure I put out high quality videos. And the, and the game that I put videos out for is very intensive on all those things, you know, right? Like it's, you know, X Plane is is very hard to get good frames even on the best computer. Um, and so I was like, I need, I need a very powerful computer uh, that I can not only play X Plane uh, at a at a high enough frame rate and quality that I can enjoy, but I can also make videos so other people can enjoy too. So um, that was my mindset whenever I bought uh, my computer. And it took, you know, they obviously like it's not like where they send you the parts and you build it. It's more like uh, make sure we're going the right way. Yeah, we're good. Um, it's more like you know you tell them hey, I want you, know, you can either buy the pre-packaged stuff that's on their website that's already made that way um, or you can customize it like you can make a completely custom computer so I went the route of comp making a completely custom computer where I picked all the parts um, with them like I talked to them and we picked all the parts that went inside of it and then in the end I picked like the um, I guess the frame that it goes in and all that stuff and then they made it and in a few months I think it took like a month honestly because it was a line, it was like Black Friday, it was Christmas time, so it was kind of a delay. Um, so I finally got it, came in a massive box. <laughs> um, but ever since then, if I ever add anything or, or do anything to my computer, I always call them for support. I'm like, hey, like, I want to make sure that when I upgrade my RAM, I get the right type of RAM. So like now I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, where I had 16 when I first started. And I called them up and was like, hey, I want to update my RAM, um, but I'm not sure if I'm trying to buy the correct one. There's two planes on final right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was, and then now I'm actually looking into upgrading, uh, or not upgrading, but adding an additional hard drive, an additional SSD hard drive, because right now I'm running out of space. I have like five gigabytes of, of, of space left on my operating, H, uh, my, op, my Windows hard drive. I have an external as like eight terabytes, but that's that's just for ortho. <laughs> All right, we got traffic rolling in. Do I prefer YouTube or Twitch? Uh, I prefer YouTube personally, but I do stream to both. 
It's a nice triple seven rolling in. American triple seven heavy. Nice. I'm so glad my CSLs are actually working. It's so nice when they work. When they don't work, it's annoying. Ah, look at that. You can see Chicago downtown all the way in the background, way out there. We got one more plane coming in. He's a bit far out. Honestly, he could get ahead of him if he wants to. He doesn't have to. I'm not in a hurry. Yeah, he's not even off the runway, so he might not be able to get in between. Uh, what makes me prefer YouTube over Twitch? Uh, is it... Is the question, like, do I prefer streaming to YouTube over Twitch? Or do I prefer watching YouTube over Twitch? Those are two different questions. I'll answer both of them. I prefer streaming to YouTube, I think. Yes, I think. At least right now. Um, and I prefer watching YouTube as well. And the reason why I prefer streaming to YouTube is because people can watch that video forever, right? Um, very rarely will you see... Uh, well, people watch a Twitch stream over for a second time. Like, you might watch it the first time, if something really the funny double, happened, you will clip yeah. it, you'll watch Pro that little piece. Um, but I feel like not as many people would watch a Twitch stream. I, I, you know, if it's not live right now, I don't feel like you would watch it. Um, but I just like the way YouTube saves. Twitch does save them. Like, I have a lot of my videos up on Twitch. Um, some of them eventually will go away unless you mark them to not go away. But yeah, I just I prefer YouTube. So whenever I make live streams, I, I kind of make them with the mindset that they will be watched in the future, hopefully. Look at that United 777 coming in. Oh no. <laughs> it was looking so good and then he hit the ground. Chicago traffic, Delta 37, I'm landing up on the 10 left Chicago traffic. That sucks. And I feel like, too, like. Twitch streaming kind of has a different vibe to it. It's more of a like, you could literally sit around and do nothing on Twitch. You can't sit around and do nothing on YouTube. There's another plane coming in. Yeah, you need to hurry up. Might take 1 0 center. Honestly, with all this traffic coming in the 1 0 left. Yeah, I'm using Bluebell. Yeah, that was weird how he like came in all nice and smooth. I think it's a 747 next. Uh oh. What was that noise? Oh yeah, this is 747. Oh, that's gonna be. I might wait just to watch him land. That's, where is he coming from? We'll get closer though. Chicago over here, traffic Delta 116, holding short runway 10 left as you do. Over here, traffic. Uh, oh, my thoughts yeah. on yeah. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this thing coming out. That Airbus A321 or A320neo looks freaking amazing. Uh, and so does a 747. Whenever that comes. And I'm like, and like looking at the videos and stuff like that of like the A320neo and the 747 like by default they look so good right but like I'm wondering how much better will they look and operate whenever these third party people get their hands on this sim yes sir Cole my doors are closed we've checked them we've secured them the flight attendants are doing their job today and so am I I think we're waiting for the 747 to come through and we'll be next in line out of O'Hare to Detroit for our final stop. Really wasn't expecting this much traffic in Chicago. There's no ATC here either. That train is nice. Yeah, yeah, I saw the train that just drove by, which I thought was a highway earlier. What airline is this? Is that Cargo Lux? Oh, Virgin. Virgin Atlantic. Oh, I did it again. Come on. I want to see the landing. That sucks. Still nice. Still very nice. All right. Over here, traffic. Delta 116 lining up runway 10 left. Over here. 
All right, he'll be out the runway shortly. Land lights on. That was a nice little uh, plane spotting session we just had. I think I have everything on. Strobes coming on. Wing lights on. Arc and brake, I think, is already released. Flaps are down. Let's see. Yeah, arc brake's released. Uh, daily video, my favorite airline is United Airlines. Matter of fact, this is one of their hubs in Chicago. And I live in one of the others, which is in Houston. And then they have a hub in San Francisco. And I think somewhere else. Oh, uh, Newark. I think they have a hub in Newark, New York. Alright, guys, strap in. Let me get my map set up so I know where I'm going. OR traffic, Western Global 4498, vacated, 10 left. Alright, OR traffic, got the 116, 116 uh, uh, taking off runway, one runway 1 left. OR traffic, traffic. I see something on the runway. He says he vacated, but his freaking tail is still out. Alright, we're going. Denver, yes. Do they have a hub in Denver? Yeah, they do have a hub in Denver. So does Frontier. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting something. This is a really bad time to realize it. <laughs> All right, and rotate. And how about I bring you guys over downtown Chicago for the fun of it? Positive clown, gear up. Here comes a flyby. And power back. APU is off. Fire traffic, Rickyard, Clark 355, taxi door, we're not around. Fire. There's a city right there. Why am I not seeing my... Oil traffic, United 24, 73, final run right now, right. I'm gonna take you guys right over top of Chicago downtown. We're gonna break some, uh, some rules most likely. I'm gonna stay low. We're at 3,000. The clouds, I think, last time we checked, we were like, well, I guess they're at 3,000. That's where we are, and that's where they are. I forgot the passengers. I actually did forget the passengers. That's not a joke, Captain K. <laughs> We actually forgot the passengers. We, we reloaded fuel and we did not reload passengers. It's okay. I got you guys on board. So that's enough. Drew, do I have any flight training? Only online. So far. I mean, technically I did go up for one flight in a 172. Uh, and I learned some stuff there. So I, I guess, yeah, I learned a little bit. Um, I've, only, I've only done one and it didn't count towards my uh, my flight hours for my logbook, sadly, so. Alright, so we're flying VFR for a little bit in MD-80. Sorta. Uh, do I plan to start? Yes. Matter of fact, I technically kind of started. I just need to follow up on it. It's kind of been tough lately between finances and scheduling with my with my uh, instructor actually we'll leave the flaps down let me keep the speed down someone on twitch needs to clip that they should you should definitely clip that I've been wanting to post more twitch clips on my uh, on my Instagram I need to start clipping more things I wish YouTube had that feature I'll be honest for streamers Twitch has a lot more uh, like stream friendly features like clipping was a really cool one yeah I plan to be a commercial pilot maybe not the kind that you would think of like not really thinking of uh, airlines I mean I, again I wouldn't mind 
but I can think my focus is more executive charters and stuff like that. Small what I'm thinking. Look at this, guys. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to actually look because I am not on autopilot. Um, but I can be. Hold on. Uh-uh, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not what I was trying to do. Alt hold, please. Alt hold. Alt hold and heading select. Can you do that for me? Can you hold? Can you? Can you do? Okay, I think it's doing it. Alright, outside we go. Downtown Chicago. That's nice. Now this is not the uh, default Chicago landmark. This is the Wiki Chicago City XP version. I'm actually surprised that I'm getting over 30 frames out here. Let's turn left. That's that's my speed. My bad. Speed select. Let's do 200 and there we go. Norwegian flight deck. What's up? Good to see you, man. That's cool. Oh wow, look the stadium's there too. Legit. I really haven't flown out here honestly since I've gotten this scenery. What does that say? Something arena. Are you turning plane? Okay, good. Can you turn sharper? There we go. There we go. That's what I want. Thank you. All right. Oh wait, how fast are we going? Auto throttle's not on. Okay. All right. All right. Now we can enjoy the view. Oh, this looks nice. I said I was looking at earlier was this right here? This little stadium. I don't know sure who plays in that stadium. Maybe the Bears. There's like a little capitol building looking thing. Very nice. I need to bring a helicopter back out here. Keep turning. Keep turning. Thank you. This is not the plane to do this, but you know, we're here. Why not take advantage of it while we're here? And there's no ATC to tell us not to do it. Very cool. That thing. Is that supposed to be, that's a fountain? I love how he modeled the water coming out of the fountain. That's amazing. Shout out to just Wiki, man. He does his thing. He really does. He modeled this entire downtown. Wow. There's a Ferris wheel. Little pier area. Park. Oh, there's the river. This river is cool. I remember when I did go to Chicago, um, I was on a party boat, and the party boat took us through this whole this river, all the way to the lake. And then we went to the lake and we partied on the lake, <laughs> and the boat came back down the river, and we went back to our cars or however we got there. I think we took cars. Very cool. And it's even modeled even more to the north here. Now, if you don't have this scenery, which is fine, uh, Ch Chicago is also modeled by default in X.11. So you'll get some pretty cool buildings. I don't know. I don't think it'll be that detailed, but that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and continue to Detroit. And uh, we'll hit nav mode and continue on our way. And we're going to climb. Probably only going to go to 20,000 feet. 22. Wait, we're going east. It's 21,000. I hit vertical speed and we'll climb. Actually, let's not do vertical speed. Let's do uh, IS at like 250. Why are you descending? And we'll 
pull this out. Two one five. And why are you not turning? Chicago traffic, American two fifty heavy pushing off Kilo fourteen to the alley. Uh, take me direct to F and T. No, yeah, yeah, F and T. Take me direct to F and T. Execute. No, you don't want to do that either. CJ, what's up, man? Good to see you. Multi Bruce Lee. Welcome to the stream as well, man. All right, it's still on heading mode. Maybe I need to turn it off of heading mode and then go in the nav. There he goes. Now nav mode is act activated. All right, I'm going to bring the flaps up. They were on this whole time. Clouds, they look great. Kaj, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Hi, champion. Welcome. I don't think I said hi to you yet today. Right? No ATC means no rules. Absolutely, Drew. Google, what's up, man? Always good to see you, bro. Thanks for coming through. Thanks for coming out, my man. Avia345, welcome back. And I still don't think we're going in the right direction. We should be turning right. But we're not. Or K. What did I do wrong? Y'all damper's on, right? Yeah, it's on. I'm gonna manually turn right. Yeah, it's still following the heading bug, even though it says. Actually, no, you're right. It says heading select right here. It should be saying. Nah, let me see if I can change it. Alright, if I turn it off, maybe now. Alright, there it is. So, you have to deselect heading for it to, for it to do it. And we're only climbing a little bit. I guess I have to actually put the throttle in myself. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, now we're rocking it out. Into the clouds we go. Captain DeGroot, what's up, man? I do have the Jardazan A330. Uh, you having a problem with autopilot? I've heard other people having issues with autopilot. I have not had issues with autopilot. I was haven't flown in a while. I think I've only ever done like two full flights in A330. What up, Charlie? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Okay, now we're going the diff. Now we're going the wrong way. What are you doing, Flame? Oh my god. What the heck? November. We up here doing S's in the sky. I want to see what my project fly line looks like. <laughs> oh, it looks like a dead snake. Alright, I'm just gonna manually turn this that way until we figure out what the problem is. Night Sat Gaming, what's up, man? Oh, nice. I, you know, I've been really considering trying out the uh, Elite and Dangerous. I've been considering it. Also considering getting back in the, in the Star Citizen, but I need to first get more space on my hard drive before I really download any games like that. And yes, we are off course by a lot. I'm trying to figure that out myself right now. I don't know if it's buggy. I don't know what it is. We, had, we didn't have any issues, honestly, in the first flight. Um, as far as the GPS, I don't know what's up with it. So now I'm just flying by heading and I'm looking at the little thingy down here. All right, while we're trying to figure life out, let's turn the music back on. I'm gonna play my jam again. One of my jams. Uh, Andy Tucker, how did I download MSY after I, I bought it? You just need to uh, go to your downloads area on the Vertical Summer website. Uh, you, 
might also get an email too with a link to it. Dang, you just sent it to make you crash. I don't know. I've heard that the A330 can be buggy. Are you in Vulcan or are you in the uh, the release version of x -Plane? I do believe though, we have a little bit of time for some shout outs right now. Okay? If you're listening, if you hear my voice, come in the chat, leave me an emoji, and let me know where you're watching it from, and I'll give you guys a shout out on this beautiful Friday. Hope you guys are staying safe in this quarantine. I got my quarantine beard going on. I haven't got a haircut. Need a barber? <laughs> bad. Yeah, dude. This song is jams right here, bro. Alright, 12,000. Light lights coming off. He said, bro, I look like a homeless person, man. I feel you, man. I think everybody's bringing out that uh, that quarantine beard. The thing is, too, is like I really don't know how to cut my own hair. I can do my own beard. I can shave it. Like that's fine. That's only one to. <laughs> um, but a lot of people have like those quarantine beards, those quarantine haircuts. And if your hair grows a lot, you're looking real bushy right now. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's been, it's going on. I don't know how many weeks now I've just had an actual haircut. I mean, it's not that I'm going anywhere really in public except to work out at the park. And that's basically it. I mean, I went to my parents' house a couple times since the quarantine started. But really, I really haven't gone anywhere. Um, there's three places actually I go. Three places that I go. One, work out at the park. Two, the grocery store to get food from time to time if I need to. Um, we're pretty good right now. And three, my parents' house. Like, that's really the only three places I go right now. Really, since everything is shut down, and I won't lie, I did go get pizza yesterday. I did get pizza yesterday, but other than that, I mean, I really haven't been anywhere. Yep, Captain Bubbles, that's what it is. It's been 10 weeks since you've been outside. Wow, wow, just wow, and that's normal right now. <laughs> that is normal right now. Um, I know I've, I've been outside. There's been times when I haven't actually left the house for like probably a max of three days. But I'm usually at least going, you know, to work out. And then when I go to work out, I go to the park and run. All right, how far are we? We are only 27 minutes out. We're right over top of Lake Michigan. Michigan's actually really beautiful in real life. Very windy though. Last time I went, it was very windy. It was in Chicago, so. Hi, champions, be going on a spending spree. Be careful, bro. I know a lot of uh, people having issues with that. Like, if you do a lot of online shopping or online gaming, uh, spending a lot of money, because everything's on sale right now. Everything's on sale. I'm actually really, really proud of my wife that she hasn't spent really any money online, like buying clothes and stuff. Mostly the stuff we've been spending money on has been food and like stuff to live <laughs> that was really it spooled up i got you bro i got you man to turn it on i had the same problem i meant to turn it on you need to click on this button on top it's like a real ipad so i like guess little bitty button ipad button right on the top of it click on that turns on and off i had the same issue i was like how do i turn this thing on i went on discord and i found out so you welcome. <laughs> uh, Andy Tucker, make sure you're logged in to his website. I think I haven't downloaded anything in a while. Now there should be a way. Like go to my account. I think right. There should be like a my account. Let me see. Let me, let me help you for a second. I'm not tech support. I'm no way associated with his website. I have bought things. Yeah, there's my account at the top in the menu. And you log in. should be 
recent orders. And then from there, you can download all your stuff. Yeah, I think. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Go to your account yeah, on Vertical Sims website. Alright, we're leveling off now at 21,000. It's actually leveling off on its own. How proud I am of you. Rotate. Sparky Doodles, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, never again picked up the DCS Huey and boy is it a challenge to fly. It absolutely is, man. It is. Helicopters in general are hard to fly if you're not used to it. Um, I'm glad to see you on DCS, guys. I just found out today that DCS is doing a month of free or something like that. Um, so everything. Like the games are already free, but all the add-ons apparently are free right now. So join me, guys, on DCS World. Please, it'd be amazing. I've been flying it a lot. Um, I've been flying the F-18 mostly, but you can fly whatever you want. Um, do some weapons training. Matter of fact, I was supposed to do one this week, but I didn't. I'll probably do a DCS World stream next week. Um, whether the super carrier comes out or not, probably not going to come out. Uh, I'll probably do that for sure. I'm also thinking about doing a uh, snow runner. That's supposed to come out, I think, next week as well, maybe. Uh, we'll probably do some trucking as well. We'll see. A lot of stuff we can do next week. It's too much. Too much to do. Yes, Chris Alker, this is the cloud arc. After coronavirus and I go back to school, <laughs> literally a stupid person. <laughs> I know, right? If only X plane was for sale, that'd be nice. No problem, spooled up. What plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator will I fly first? It depends on what planes are available. I mean, from what we know, there's obviously a lot of the GA stuff from all the screenshots. Uh, TBM looks like a lot of fun. 172 obviously, um, EA320, Neo, 747, uh, I know I saw a Citation, I saw the uh, X-Cub, a lot of dope stuff. iRacing, yeah we might, you know I haven't streamed iRacing in a while because I've been racing in VR and I haven't found a way to race in VR and see chat. So technically I know how to stream my race in VR. But the issue would be I wouldn't be able to like see who follows. I wouldn't be able to like see who's talking. Which I mean I guess it's not that much different because usually when I'm racing, because I'm so focused on not dying in race, um, I are, it's already very hard to keep up with the chat and stuff like that. But in VR I would really not know anything at all. But I've been thinking about it, doing a stream. I should I should do a, another stream. I haven't done one in a long time uh, for racing, and I've been racing. Trust me, I've been racing a lot. I, I didn't race yesterday. Uh, Chris, I use the high res. Nick, yes, DCS right now. Apparently, from I don't know, an anonymous source who came into my chat earlier said that DCS is having a sale. We're well, not a sale, but basically a, a special where everything is free for a whole month. That's ridiculous, right? That's crazy. These add-ons in DCS can cost a lot of money, and they're all for free. So, uh, I mean, I'm probably not going to pick up anything new except for maybe some of the war planes. I don't have any of those. And I might try out something. You never know. But right now I'm focusing on F-18. That's my biggest issue with DCS is there's so much fun stuff to fly and blow things up, right? But uh, they're, so, they're so detailed that if you keep jumping around different planes, you're never going to master any of them. So um, even though I have the F-14, the F-16, the F-5, the F-15, you know, A-10, all that stuff is like... I had, to, I had to stop and focus on one thing. So I decided to focus on the F-18. I've gotten better with it. I actually know how to use the laser on it, the um, the guided bombs and unguided bombs, the every like you know the Mavericks. Um, I actually know how to use it now. Now, if I go switch to the F-14, it has a lot of the same weapons and types of weapons, but they're all operated completely differently, and I have to basically relearn how to fly it. So it's it's not like switching from Airbus to Boeing because that's an easier transition than switching from F-18 to F-14. At 16 is not as bad of a transition, but still, it's too tough. Dougal, man, the, I... The Spitfire? No, I tried... It wasn't the Spitfire, it was the other one. Uh, the Mustang. I tried the DCS Mustang when it was on... Um, when it was free that couple days. It was a lot of fun. I crashed it really bad, but it was a lot of fun. It was cool. So I'm probably going to try the Spitfire. I wanted to try, try, try the Spitfire. I'm going to try that out. Um, other than that, I don't know what else I would really fly. I already have the Huey. I love flying the Huey. Um, I have the K50, but I'm not really interested in flying it anymore. At least not right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I would get. 
we probably should descend. Uh, we're, we're flying a very, uh, like, lazy flight plan. Uh, I guess it does have some altitudes in here. We may be okay. Um, but I don't really know when we should descend. Yeah. Let's see if we can get our... our is it right here it says localizer fail. I'm not sure why. Let me see if I can get the... Wait, it says nav track right now. Are you tracking nav right now? Huh. Well, take me straight to the approach because I just want to land. Can you do that for me, Mr. Mr. McD McDonald Douglas? Okay, we're gonna go direct to Julep. Yeah, let's see if it actually does it. Execute. And we are actually turning. So, how far is that from us right now? That is 111 miles. Okay. Let's go straight there. We'd be there at 7,000 feet. Uh, World Premiere is most likely the website. I don't. I doubt it's. This, I doubt they have it all for free on Steam. I doubt it. I need to look it up and confirm myself and see that this is true. Let me. I've been promoting it this stream and I don't even know if it's true. Let me, let me go find out. Let me go look it up. Actually, I'm in a Discord. I'm in one of the one of many DCS Discords. I'm pretty sure one of them has mentioned something about. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, it's true. It is true. In a, in view of last month's response, we are pleased to announce our upcoming free for all event starting April nineteenth. When is that? Oh, that's two days from now. That's uh, next. That's Sunday. No, it hasn't started yet. So starting Sunday, where you are welcome to try uh, any and all our product except campaigns, which nobody uses anyway. For free and without limitation for one month. This is unlimited access to all of our suite of products, including our top fighters such as the F-16, 18, A-10C. Uh, will help your, will help take your mind off of things for a while, giving you the opportunity to try something new and to own it for 50% or less than normal price. So it not only is it free, if you decide you want to own it, it's 50% off. Um, so the exclusions and comments, all campaigns. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So. Yeah, it's true. That's that's crazy. Yeah. So who's gonna join me on DCS? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm. Uh, I already have it. I'm excited. Like I'm, I'm not even getting anything for free, and I'm excited about it. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's a really dope thing. I think the reason they're doing it too is, uh, well, I, I think they've had this plan for a while. I don't think it's anything to do with the super carrier being delayed. That music was a little too epic for me. Let's go outside. These clouds are great. I will say though, I will say, DCS, DCS is maybe easier for your computer to handle than X-Plane, but it's still very, you still want, want to have a good machine to really appreciate. Oh, no problem, Fuego. <laughs> I understand, man. Uh, I got my computer from maingear.com. I probably should build, I need to give Nightbot some more links. Okay, that's one he should have. Got a question gonna come up some more. Put my affiliate link in there. <laughs> I think it's maingear.com slash blue games or I am blue games, something like that. But yeah, it starts on the 19th, so that's Sunday. So not yet. It may be 50% off already. I'm probably going to get the, the Spitfire that Google mentioned. I don't think I'm going to buy any more uh, like DLC for DCS. I kind of have everything I want. I have all the maps already except for um, except one map that nobody uses. Uh, the one with all the world... I think it's in France or somewhere. The World War II planes are there. I can't remember it. Give some of this classical music. There we go. Peter, yes, I am in Vulcan. Now, we've been going for a 
out of day, guys. Oh, no wonder we're going 259. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Just be careful. It always happens. I get so caught up talking to the chat, hanging out with you guys, that I forget we're going freaking snail's pace. We could have got us to 30,000 feet, but we don't need to. Uh, my rendering options right now are a little bit lower than our last stream. I did turn them down just a tiny bit. We're getting about 35-ish, 30, 32, 35, it's bouncing around. 35, we'll just say 35. 35 frames right now. And it's just clouds around us. I think it might be some ortho underneath the clouds. Not a lot of scenery, honestly. And I will actually really quickly, just really quick, really quick, show you already right now. Like, like, this stuff is all right. All right, so I got visual effects on high, texture quality is on high, any aliasing 4X, draw shadow is on, uh, objects are maximum, and I have motion right now. So, screenshot that. Speaking of uh, games, uh, I don't know if any of you guys heard of a game called Just Cause. If you haven't, check it out. Uh, it's an amazing game. It's called Just Cause, and basically, <laughs> you just do things just because. Uh, it's all about explosions and blowing things up, and I love that. And so I love that game. Uh, I haven't played Just Cause, though, since Just Cause 2 or 3, though. Uh, I really haven't played the, the latest one. but. A friend of mine told me last night that if you download the Epic Games app on your PC, you can get Just Cause for free right now. So if that game, if you, if blowing up things for no particular reason excites you, and flying around with a jetpack excites you, and rocket launchers with nuke in it excites you, you might like that game, and you might want to get it for free at the Epic Game at Epic Games Store. So I'll probably download it. I think it's up until the 20th or 19th that you can get it. Uh, you don't have to play it right now, just download it and have it. <laughs> yeah, never- bro, man. Just- just you saying blowing up bridges brings back Just Cause memories. Man, I- I enjoyed that so much, guys. <laughs> I enjoy blowing stuff up in Just Cause so much. And the way you do them, you can get so creative with them. Like, you use like these like... I don't know how to explain it. If blowing bridges up was fun, blowing up tanks was fun, blowing up planes was fun, blowing up everything was fun. Yeah, the trains would crash too. That was always, like, they always kept coming and coming. That's hilarious. Yes, Nick, you can go to the washroom. You are excused. Is the MD-80 worth getting? I think so. But only if you're gonna fly. If you don't think you're gonna fly much, don't get it. I've had this plane for years. I've had it since X-Plane 10. Um, like, if I didn't have it, would I buy it today? I don't know. I don't know. But I would say this plane is one of the best of its time. Why flying on X-Plane Mobile in the 172 in Hawaii? Very cool. We need, to, we need to head up to Hawaii eventually. I don't think I have any scenery out there. I think I downloaded one, but I don't know if it's working. Alright, how far are we? Close. Apparently we're only seven minutes away. So that means we probably should descend, right? 
44 miles from our first fix and our approach to 7,000 feet. So the vertical speed activated. And we're gonna start this in. Loving these clouds right now. It's supposed to be rainy and snowy in Detroit. Let's take a look at the Mitar one more, more time. All right, Detroit weather. One zero zero at five. Visibility three fourth statue mile. Uh, it is raining. It is snowing. We're broken at six hundred feet. Overcast at twelve hundred feet. Temperature zero one, two point minus one. Altimeter three zero zero three. I'm gonna set our altimeter now. Get over it. What do I prefer to fly, Airbus or Boeing? Uh, I don't know. Why? Why not both? <laughs> I prefer to not have to choose, but obviously I choose every time I choose to fly Boeing or Airbus. But I like them both. I do. I, I would probably say Boeing. I think if I had to choose, and I know this is a common question, but I think I'm just a little bit more on the Boeing side than the Airbus. Like I'm, I'm like in the middle between Boeing and Airbus, but I'm just a tiny bit more over to the Boeing side than Airbus. But I, I do like them both, and I like to fly both of them. Yes, never again just confirmed that he just opened up Epic Games and Just Cause 4 is free. So I don't have Epic Games. I'm going to go download it later tonight, and I'm going to get Just Cause 4. I might do that this weekend. It might be my, it might be my weekend game when my wife is out, is, uh, is playing Just Cause 4. It's crazy because Just Cause 2 or 3, whichever one I played, was so much fun. But I don't know why. I don't know why, what stopped me from going and buying the new Just Cause. I think it was the reviews. I think the reviews weren't, weren't that great. We'll see. I guess we get to find out ourselves. Drewski, yes. Uh, oh, the clouds are not Active Sky. No, I am using Active Sky in the background um, for weather information, but I am not using Active Sky's clouds. King of Highlights. What up, man? Oh, wait. Doing an approach in the San Francisco clouds are low. Yeah, cool. That's weird, Andy. That, uh, your scenery is not working out. I don't know. Wait, Hawaii has Fort Boy? I didn't, or Fort Boy has Hawaii? I didn't know that. Thank you, Brownie. What's up, Brownie? My dude, that's my DCS partner right there. If you guys saw my video in the Blue Angels uh, paint scheme in the F-18, I posted like last week doing some formation flying practice. Uh, and that was with my homie, Brownie. So thank you, bro, for the cheers. And Spool Duck, thank you for the donation as well. Love your stream, appreciate what you do. I appreciate what you do, man. Thank you very much for that. That is greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Glide Slope, hello there. Hola, good to see you, man. All right, Dennis, descending past 15,000 for Detroit. So we are probably well over the point we want to be. Uh, 17 miles from 7,000 feet. Yeah. We need to slow down. Can you guys hear okay? I feel like the, the music is loud. I feel like everything is just loud. Let me know if the, if the level's are okay. I can change it up. Yeah, Andy, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, maybe try uh, joining Vertical Sims Discord and ask on there, and maybe he can, uh, maybe him or somebody on his team can help you figure out how to get everything downloaded. Um, I don't know why New Orleans would not be downloading for you. Alright, we're gonna expedite our descent. And slow our speed down. As well as bringing the speed brakes speed breaks out. I'm gonna try to make this in one shot, no go arounds. Uh, speaking of that, let's go and go down here. These clouds look nice. Right, this is our approach 04 right into Detroit. Local is 1107. I like this song. It's dope. Like that old school hip hop feel. 036 is a CRS. There it is. And I'm turning the lights on now. Everything else looks good. I'm gonna get the wing lights off. I just don't really like them. Alright, go to the bank. We're on the way.
Let's actually just send for 5,000. Alright, world premiere, thank you very much, man. I'll see you later, bro. I appreciate you. Is it really spooled up? I, I was actually, you know, it's funny. I almost did today's stream in VR, but I did not have enough time to prepare uh, for that. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do what I know to do, what I can do first before I go testing VR. Um, but I want to try VR in this plane as well as I want to try VR in Vulcan because I haven't tried VR yet in Vulcan. And I feel like because I have VR, I can actually contribute <laughs> an opinion on how it works in, in VR. So I need to do that. We haven't done an X-Plane VR stream yet. We gotta make that happen. I'm wondering, if, when we stream DCS next week, should I do just regular track IR or should I use VR? I'm probably just gonna use track IR so I can see the chat. If I go, once I go in VR, I don't go back. <laughs> Alright, we're at 7,500 doing okay. We're a little high by about... 200, 300 feet. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go past that, go down to 4,500, and we're gonna try to intercept the West. We're already, we're already intercepting the glider. Um, but I want to intercept the glide slope too. Uh, yeah, MD80 gets way better frames than Zebo. Yes, that is, that is true. Not way better. I'd say better, just better. Not way better. Let me, let me not accentuate the way. Drive a cog quest feel, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Alright, let's go ahead and slow up our descent. We're fast. We're in the clouds. We are, I would say, 10 miles out from 04. Maybe less than that, probably less than that. Let's go ahead and hit that uh, good old ally eyeless button. Now we're tracking the localizer, and I hate to I hate to cut off such a good song, but we we, we got work to do here, guys. Pop pop, <laughs> that was dope. Okay, so we have uh, established on the localizer. We're below the glide slope, which is exactly where I want to be, and we're also in the clouds. You see nothing out there, man. Nothing. It's supposed to be snowing and raining out here. Once we actually be able to see something. Spooled up, since you have VR, man, I would love to ask you a few questions like, uh, what, what is your go-to VR plane and what type of flights do you do in VR? I think we're on the glide slope now. Yeah, we are. We're tracking the glide slope. We'll slow down. Way down, please. Way, way, way down. And are, they, are, are there any, like, go-to apps to use for VR? Like, it's just any of these tips that I need to know. Like, I've had VR since Christmas, and I really haven't done a lot in X-Plane. I've, I've tested it. I've tried a, I did a couple flights, short little VFR flights in it. Uh, this was before Vulcan, so I didn't really get that great performance, honestly. And since then, I've kind of preferred to fly without VR, VR so I can see better graphics. Right. <laughs> but I bet there's some stuff I could do. All right, guys, we're on final now. There's a new carrier called Avatar Airways, and they want to buy 3747s. Oh, my God. Landing gear. Gear's coming down. Landing gear. Landing gear. Yeah, lots of snow. Look at that. Look up the left. You can see the, the, the rain or snow coming down. It's a mix of rain and snow. What it said on the weather report. How do I arm my speed brakes? I don't like these beeps. I don't like these beeps at all. What is that? Oh, spoilers out. That's what it's saying. How far are we from the actual airport? Like, that's a question I should like to know. Oh, we're seven miles out. 
I think it's what I said, seven mile DME. I hope that's what this is. Yeah, I think like seven, maybe four. Can't see anything right now, guys. Completely white out right now. Right, there's 1,000 flaps are downish. Still bringing some more flaps in. Gears down and indicating. Uh, we're gonna say we're like five miles out. Actually, less, maybe three. Yeah, we're less, like three miles. Uh, where we at? Detroit traffic, Delta 116. 116. Short, Short final runway 04, right. Four, right. Detroit, Detroit traffic. 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 All right, guys, take two. Second chance, second landing of the day. Let's see how we can do. Send in your predictions. The clouds are supposed to be at the bottom at like 700, no, oh, sorry, 700 feet or so. We can see it's less than that. We're still in the fog. And we're at 500 feet now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I can't see. I'm gonna go ahead and turn autopilot off, auto throttle off, and I now have the controls. 300. Steady, steady. I don't have any special scenery 200. here. All right, it's gonna be a long landing. 100. Alright, we'll put it down the soft. We have plenty of runway. Land a plane. 50. 40. 30. 20. The nose goes down so far. Alright, reverses out. That was definitely soft. Mate, like, we took our time putting this down. Took our sweet time. And we used all the runway. You know, paid for it. Might as well use it all, right? That's what I always say. Alright, reverse is coming back. Retract the nose. Winds weren't too bad, though. A lot of traffic here. A lot of traffic here. Are those AI? Like, are, I don't have AI turned on. Are all these like static aircraft on this airport? I don't. I don't have freeware or any like. Like, I don't have any scenery for Detroit, so it's weird that I'm seeing special things. <laughs> it must be like gateway. Is this the gateway Detroit? That's just pretty detailed for gateway Detroit. All right, where are we at, guys? Detroit, Detroit traffic. traffic. Delta 116 is clear all runways. Detroit. Detroit. Oh yeah, we floated that baby. Today we floated heavy. Or I shouldn't say heavy. We floated a lot today. All right, for, we'll just park over here because we got traffic coming the other way. I'll take that spot right ahead next to the CRJ. Beautiful. I like that. I like that. Beautiful. I'll take it. I'm gonna keep it now. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. <laughs> Bring it back later. Alright, this one has two jetways weirdly placed. Matter of fact, I think that jetway is in the way of my parking. Oh, wait, that's because it's over there. Weird. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to back up. <laughs> confusing because Delta 25 is over here but then the, the actual thing is over there oh wow we're going a lot faster from the inside view <laughs> my reverse is going away can you imagine the plane like hitting reverses on the ramp I wonder if that ever happens, or if that's like a, against some law. Right. Probably is against the law, or not the law, but FAA rules. Don't know if this place has SAM or auto gate. Oh, we'll just stop there. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, flight recorder off, and once again, I forgot to turn the APU on when we landed. It's okay, it's our last flight, so who cares? We'll just shut the engines off, because we're done for today. We'll let, the, we'll let the next crew handle all that stuff. Welcome to Detroit, Michigan, beautiful people. Hope you enjoyed that flight. It's a bit of a bumpy one. Hope you enjoyed the view around Chicago downtown, the little tour we took. We actually did forget all the passengers, but we remembered you guys. You guys are here. You're here when it counts. All right, so the final feet per minute we got there was negative 84. I'm not sure who got closest to that, but negative 84, that's pretty good. I mean, who floated it? But we got an 84. <laughs> you know, you win some, you lose some. That's how it works. All right, I'm disconnected from VATSIM. Thank you, guys. Uh, for those of you who did fly with me today, it's definitely a pleasure. I really do appreciate it when you guys get involved and... And uh, fly with me makes it a lot more fun. So I really appreciate you guys who uh, flew with me on either leg. Definitely enjoyable. I'm glad I was able to spend a little bit more time with you guys today. We've been a little bit longer than usual. We're uh, looking at how long we've been going. Three and a half hours almost. And we haven't even watched the replay yet. And just what's up, man? Good to see you, bro. Jake, what's up? All right, so you guys ready to see this float? Bro, I'll tell you, Blue Games got more floats in the Thanksgiving parade. All right, so here we go. We should have touched down right there. That's where we should have, but then we just held it there for like, <laughs> we were five feet up for like half of the runway, bro. <laughs> I'll tell you like, it's almost like the plane was like, the runway is cold and I don't want to touch it because it's cold and it was holding it out for as long as possible. One more time. We finally touched down with around here. We'll do a um, view of out here in the field. Looks like we're crashing from this view. That's what it looks like. Very little visibility though. Thank you, Fuego. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you for coming through, my dude. I hope the one year old is doing okay. <laughs> Bro, the float game, strong. I tell you, man, if floating was something you were supposed to do, I am really good at it. Maybe we should change the landing rules and be like, hey, float as long as possible. That's, that would be actually a really cool landing competition, right? Not to see who can do the, the lowest frames, like uh, feet per second or a minute or whatever. But to do like who can actually get right above the runway and float as far as possible and still stop before the end of the runway. That would be a cool competition. That would just take straight up plain control and skill. Which is everything I got. <laughs> that looks nice. That's a beautiful plane, guys. I love this plane. And there it is. This is really good for a, a default airport, too. Who wants a wing view? Let's get a wing view. Seven eight seven for floater too. When we flew to seven thirty seven last time, we didn't float as much as I thought I would. Yeah. 
There it is. It was soft though. Soft touch. Soft with the touch. The softest. Suavemente is what that was. Alright. Uh, I think I'm good on views. Let's see, what one do I have outside of you though? This will be our last one, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another live stream on X Plane 11. I hope to see all of you guys again sometime in the future. Stay safe this weekend and every day. Quarantine or not, wherever you are in the world, wherever you're watching from. Your love and support is always, always appreciated. Thank you guys for chilling with me. Good vibes only. Jerry, thank you, my dude, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow, your family, as well as anybody else who's subscribed in between streams. I do want to say thank you to all of you, too, since a lot of you guys have subscribed or followed, you know, when I wasn't live. And I want to say thank you to you guys, too. Sorry you don't get the, the live notification, but you are definitely appreciated. And I see every single one. It comes straight to my phone. And, uh, and I see it as well as comments. So if you have any more questions after the stream is over, well, you can contact me either on Discord, Instagram, or just leave a comment on it, really any video, and I'll see it. And I'll do my best to try to answer it as fast as possible. But uh, anyways, guys, until next time, we'll probably stream, uh, I don't know, maybe next Tuesday. Probably do some more trucking on Tuesday. We'll see what happens. Let's stay tuned, guys. Until next time, as always, you remember, we have three choices. Play Just Cause, DCS, or X-Plane. Just kidding. <laughs> Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. Bust out that intro.